good, evil. Many people would say that these two very words are abstract concepts, but when you apply them to hedgehogs, oh boy, are you in for a hell of a good time. Theoretically. You make history! James, man, I'm just saying now, if you go all of Sonic Adventure 1 without showing the Chow Garden once, and you decide to not never show the Chow Garden once in this game, I'm leaving it, uh, like, immediately. Oh, damn. Why does it with you and Chow, my man? It's like... They're the best part of the game! Well, no matter. For those who are curious what it's time for, it's time for everyone's favorite sequel to Sonic 3 & Knuckles, <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Whoa. You remember wondering, why go from 3 to 2? Yeah. <laughs> well, it all, well, it's a funny story that all started on, in, in magical year 1998. I, I mean, anyway. 99. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, I mean, yeah, no, we've definitely done this game before, but, you know, much of the same way we did, we did Sonic Adventure 1, we decided to redo this game again uh, with some much-needed uh, TLC applied as well. Yep, yeah, we're doing it live. We're doing it via uh, the, uh, the interesting and wonderful uh, running of the Steam Deck for uh, optimization. And, uh, as, again, as before we're doing, I don't think, have we ever done the a look at of the original Sonic Adventure 2, or is it, or have we always done Battle? I think we've always just stuck with Battle. Like, I mean, the, the difference between, um, the original Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure 2 and later releases, it's more so just graphical stuff more than anything, which, uh, thankfully I've done my very best to try to, uh, match that with, uh, all the mods you can find amongst, amongst the internet, like Game Banana or what have you, mm -hmm. to the best of my ability. It's not completely perfect, but it's, it's gonna make this game look a hell of a lot better than you, than it would be if you were just to play this game straight from the Steam Deck with no additional, uh, add-ons attached. Well, gotcha. alrighty then. So it all started on a sunshiny day, a helicopter flew on by with an interesting, uh, guest, uh, t seated inside it. An exclusive guest. Capture Hedgehog. Capture Hedgehog. Hey, hold on a minute! I'm no stinking cargo. Get me out of this scrap heap. I'm gonna kill all of you. He's like, what? <laughs> I have a gun. He legitimately beat the crap out of all the people on the uh, helicopter, keeping him prisoner. <laughs> so you may be wondering. How did I suddenly get into this situation and got myself arrested? Well, it's a funny story. It all started when I was, uh, it all started when I was going up for some chili dogs down at Station Square, when all of a sudden these weirdos came by and suddenly put the cuffs on me. A brand new faction just introduced. You do got me wondering now. All right, let's have some fun. Do you have me wondering, has IDW or Archie ever, like, tried to approach a story of what would have been the actual direct prequel to these events as we escape from this city? I think Archie might have at some point, but I I don't know. I it might have happened in preboot. I don't know. IDW doesn't acknowledge gun in the slightest though. Fair. I think Sonic X covered Sonic Adventure 2's plot. Oh, definitely. It did. I I know I know it covered Sonic. So about as about as faithfully as X can do. So uh, for those that don't already remember or know of uh, GUN, uh, they are they stand. For it's an acronym for uh, Guardians of United Nations. Yes, gun. So the UN exists in Sonic's land. Yes. Essentially. Like, there is that. For some reason, I like to think of, like, think of it as, like, the Sonic... Oh, of you know what? I almost forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, no. What is Assuming the camera will actually yeah, right, there, you go. there we go. We forgot to introduce a very super important character to the Sonic mythos. Oh, no. Who we can meet right around here. Hello, Machow. Oh, Mo Chow okay. is fine. They just kind of became a random tutorial person who infinitely cloned themselves. I also just find it funny that, like, in this game, they make a big deal of how intrusive it is when, in actuality, interacting with him is, like, entirely optional. For sure. It, it is. Wasn't until it's, it's not like it stops. The, it, it doesn't stop gameplay the moment you activate him. It wasn't until Heroes, especially when especially when you're playing as Team Rose, which is required to beat the game, it does. It requires you to play the tutorial at least once. Well, yeah, because um, Team yeah. Rose is meant to be, like, uh, the more beginner-friendly campaign. Right. Also, uh, I guess not yet, but we are going to have to flee soon. So, yeah, GUN was essentially created mainly because, as... James mentioned previously, Light and Dark are both going to be playing a, a key factor in the story of this game, so we couldn't have Eggman shooting and transforming little animal critters against their will as is his, you know, opponent in this, you know, 
scheme. So they had to Even basically. Though he technically still does do that depending on the level. True, but ultimately they needed to. They Sega basically needed to invent a third faction that could be a universal threat to both sides of this conflict. Basically, a neutral party to uh, bat to combat both Sonic's party and Eggman's. Whoa. AKA the law. Sort of, yeah, pretty much. Um, While well, we are here now, also sponsored by Soap, Soap brand shoes at the time. Um, yep. Hence, hence uh, the complimentary uh, shoes that Sonic's currently wearing at the given moment. Yep, which you can add in Frontiers, nice. Uh, yeah, d d talking about the new people that we have on board, we have Iggy and Doug. Hi. Hi. Doug, what were you, what, what you, I know, are we are still, what we promise, we are still getting to Shadow, you, that, that whole adventure will begin soon as soon as we finish <laughs> this one battle. What were your experiences with Sonic Adventure 2? Like, did you get the original? Did you wait until they're like me on the GameCube? As I said, I never grew up with the GameCube. But I did get the I did get battle on the uh, PlayStation Network store around 2014. That's how I experienced Froggy, SA2. Froggy, oh. Hey, big. <sighs> oh, that's right. I forgot. In Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, there'll be big cameras. Sorry, continue. Oh, say, Froggy, you're looking pretty big and boxy. It's fine. Continue, Doug. Yes. At the time, I really liked the game, but nowadays, it just depends. I I have mixed baggage with this game sometimes. Fair that's enough. Fair. I mean, that's general. That's pretty much the general consistency of SA2 nowadays. It's like yeah. there are parts of it that are great, and other parts that are not great. Oh, it's also the fact that some of the fan base just killed it for me. That is fair. I mean, that can happen with like a, a lot of things. Like not even just games, just any kind of media in general that's popular. Oh yeah, of course. This game brought to you by Fantasy Star Online and Planet of the Chows. Planet of Chaos. And Chaos Cola. Intruder has been located. There is a lot of product placement in this game, I swear. Literally. It, the, I mean, there is, I mean, it, we are, it, we are meant to be in a city where, but, but, though you do make me, it is a, th interesting to know, we don't really see, I don't see as many billboard ads as I used to, like, it seems like it's all, it seems like, it seems like the internet, hey, look, fantasy. Uh, PSO. I, just pointed that I, out. I know, I'm sorry. Ooh, plastic bag, plastic bag, plastic bag. Um, <laughs> Ooh, crates. Gunfire. Is uh <laughs> rings, but yeah, no, it, it was. This game was made in a very odd time, turn of the millennium, wasn't it? In the year two thousand and one, oh. and most importantly, this game was made right at the tenth anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow, and he was turning ten that year, and he celebrated in style with uh, pretty much the uh, Dreamcast swan song, the big one. Oh, I was a year old when this game came out. Dang. <laughs> I was... Well, guess what, Doug? You share a birthday with a super special character amongst the Sonic the Hedgehog community. It all starts with this. <gasps> a jewel you know, I would have, I would have liked it more, but no. <laughs> I guess that would explain why that mech was so strong. Even Gun is apparently using Chaos Emeralds now. now. They found out. The me the Man, what a faker! That's not a Chaos Emerald. That's a Power Stone. That's not that game. It looks exactly like it, though! So I'm sure a lot of you Sonic Adventure 2 players who mostly grew up this, with this game uh, post-2002 are thinking to yourselves, Wow, the game looks so much more much more vibrant and colorful than it was on the GameCube. A lot more HD, in fact. What's the reasoning for... Well, then also the lighting in general. It's like, like you're not going to get this even in the, like in the base Sonic Adventure 2 um, uh, release on Steam or what have you. Oh! Also, it's, also, it's not anywhere else. You're actually going to see... Uh, a uh, game where a version of Sonic Adventure 2 where nobody's talking over each other. Oh yeah, oh, really? they actually. Oh my no, my lord! Where did you all? Again, I. Anyway. Again, there is I I I did my best to input like a whole shit ton of um no, it... mods to help make the game a lot smoother than it normally is, whether it be the original releases or even the Steam release. I mean, and it's like it's all not. Definitely look them up. Like the, like it, it definitely does uh, add a whole layer of uh, polish that this game desperately needed all for all these years. I think that's fine. No kidding. It'll do while we actually, still wait. I can actually. I. Hmm. Look who's calling who. At the... Ha. Huh. I think, but yeah, I think, I, think, I think it works. I think this absolutely will tide us over while we wait on Sega to give us the Sonic 3D All-Stars trilogy collection. Uh, yeah, maybe one day. 
Oh, that's right, Doug. You also so anyway, uh, not only did the game introduce the likes of Shadow the Hedgehog, but also introduced like Rouge the Bat, a thief who is uh, very obsessed with jewels, uh, not the least of which includes the Master Rumble, which uh, Knuckles literally punched just to save her from Eggman's clutches. How do you feel? <laughs> that was a bit of a delayed reaction there, Rouge. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen. It was either so that or... What are we doing in Egypt? I don't know. The Master Emerald was here. Eggman almost got away with the entire Emerald. So, uh, they, uh, helped it. And now it's Knuckles' fault. Well, I mean, it was either that or Eggman makes on with the Master Emerald, which already would spell disaster in the long run. Well, my question is, what's the point of him getting the Master Emerald now? Yeah, we'll see about that, bat girl. I mean... What's he needed for here? I mean, let's be real here. The Master Emerald in and of itself contains a shit ton of power. It was enough to literally bring the Death Egg back to life. True. But it That's seems true. in between Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, it's kind of, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Wait. He does it. A little. So... Uh, in terms of any other, in terms of major differences, while well, James uh, continues to play, uh, in terms of major differences between uh, Adventure One and Two, uh, Adventure Two, uh, unfortunately, eh, for better or worse, man, who you ask, uh, did away with the overworld, um, the world map, uh, hub worlds, transition between levels. It's far, it's far more linear now. Oh yeah, no, it's much, more, it's much more straight shot. Yeah, and I'll be honest, that is kind of like one of the few things that. I'm I'm gonna classify myself as the idiot here that kind of prefers oh, SA2 fine. over SA1, and and I'll say one of the reasons why I kind of prefer SA2 is as you touched upon it, like they got rid of the the world map and whatnot. I think it kind of helps reinforce the fact that like SA1 doesn't like to waste time as much as uh, SA2 doesn't like to waste as much time as SA1 does, and just kind of like gets to the point. There's a lot less bumbling about in this game compared to SA1. No, and I can now have to see that. Like, yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot of fat trimming between games. Which, which I can no, which I, I'm not agreeing with you there. I like in terms of like on repeat playthroughs, I can see myself going to this one a lot more since it's like just moment to moment. Just you're you're constantly playing, not having to run and like do puzzles as often. Pretty much. So yeah. what are these little thingies that we're collecting alongside the shards of the Master Emerald? Oh yeah, the little things in the lower well, right. There's uh, there's animals you can find. Push you to the other side. Yeah. I think I have to push the block. And what do the animals do? Ah, uh, so they're not the they're not the uh, push pull kind of blocks. No. Uh, yeah, no. What do the? You know, it's not. It, it's really not every day I find a, ma a master emerald shard literally hiding beneath these uh, boulders or, or blocks. Or you know, just clipping through them shamelessly. Ah, but yeah. Usually it's the digging and the punching, but nice. Yeah. Yay! Hey, this is punching. perfect. Hey. But yeah, so. Hey. Uh, as well, as something that will become much more expanded upon in the sequel to this game, uh, the, in both the light and the dark, there are like three different like archetypes or three different types of characters no that we'll be playing as. The Gameplay game. styles. Yep, we did speed with Sonic, power with Knuckles, and uh, Mech with Tails. White question mark with Tails. Yeah, I thought it was basically they 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 carried over the most uh, highly respected aspects of Sonic Adventure One for the sake of. Trimming things down for SA2's sake, and I mean, I mean, your mileage may vary, but I'd say they still made the right call in the long run. Wasn't yeah, Tales of Last Second thing for the development? Oh, hmm? what was that, a duck? Wasn't Tales Last Second for the development of this game? Yes, uh, yes, he was, because initially Sonic Adventure 2 was only going to focus on three specific characters: Sonic, Knuckles, and Doctor Eggman. Me then later on in development, when they decided to ha have a playable like allegiances, for lack of a better word. Three additional characters were added on for playability's sake. We got Shadow, as we, as we were introduced to earlier. Sonic, we got right. Rouge to uh, combat Knuckles, and we also have Tails to combat Eggman. Yep, but they're essentially Gamma. Uh, pretty much. A heavier built Gamma. Mm -hmm. Gamma if he had weight problems. <laughs> and I mean, at least for Eggman, it makes sense. I mean, look how bulky that mech is. Although well, you got Tails, who decided to convert his uh, Tornado 2 into the Tornado 3, a.k.a. the Cyclone, which... Pretty much controls worse than Tails in every single way. Whoops. These mechs make no god like the health bars for these mechs make no fucking sense to this me. Time I'll let you I miss go. my wife hype. The next time we meet. <laughs> I was waiting for that. So I should, should we make a counter on how many references we make to that? I'm going to avoid it, but just there's some of those are my favorite. Hey Amy. Complete with like an icon of Dr. Eggman's face. Ah, Amy Rose. To think there was once upon a time where you were more of a footnote to the Sonic series compared to now, where you've literally got the best TLC next to Knuckles. Yep. Also, I want to ask, like, was there, like, in terms of, like, differences between the Dreamcast and the uh, GameCube, 
Did the Dreamcast have, like, that extra, like, eyeliner outline around Amy's eyes? Because I don't remember her having, like, that extra black above her eyes in the GameCube version. So to say right now, that's actually another mod I ended, that I uh, installed in the game. Uh, huh? I forget who made it. I'll be sure to uh, list them in post editing. But uh, yeah, that's uh -huh. that is that was never a thing in either the original Team Dreamcast version or SA2. But I added it on because I thought Amy looked a little more complete with them on. Yeah, yeah that's fair. fair. I agree. No, she doesn't. I like it, Icky. You could sit in it the corner weird. with the chows and you can say you don't like it. I thought it's fine. I again. James, man, I wasn't expecting Sonic Adventure 2 Liminal. Liminal. <laughs> liminal. How does this liminal? Yeah, it's like the version of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle that you remember but isn't actually there. Oh, is that what anyway, liminal means? I always so, thought... Yes, go ahead. I... But anyway, so like we were mentioning earlier, Tails' gameplay, and you know, as we'll get to see Eggman, basically is basically is just taking like the Gamma gameplay from Adventure 1, but obviously it's a little bit heavier considering the mech, and they also got rid of the timer, which I don't know how frequently we touched upon it, but I'll say it right now. Um, looking back at that, and you know, now looking at this, kind of highlights how ultimately pointless the timer was in Adventure 1, because it's like, aside from like maybe one level near the end, you're never in a big enough threat of the timer running out, because you have more than enough enemies to fill it up. So it kind of makes me wonder what was the point even being given game on that timer. Eh. I'd just like to make a just like to make a quick mention that I misread Tails' Vulcan Blasters as Vodka Blasters. Vodka Blasters. He ain't old enough to drink, but... Yeah. What? I, I thought we were investigating a Russian gulag for a No, I don't know. I, 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 I can only assume maybe it was just because they needed to try and justify something to make, the, to make, to make you know, Gamma's thing be different. So sorry. One other question. What is that meter on the bottom? That's, That's your health. Point. That is our health. Oh. You can fill it up by collecting rings, but uh, it actually, I mean, it allows the, char the uh, mech characters to actually last a little longer so should they get their um, shit wrecked in by uh, many of the robots they'll be facing. Oh, is this, mm -hmm. is so this how much health do you recover by collecting 10 rings? About maybe 10%. That is, that 10%. is, like right there, like there's, okay, it's like a little bit, maybe it's more like one, but, but. I'll say that's interesting. Two like percent. I'll say this is interesting. I think this is the first time we've had an actual health bar in a Sonic game, like a like an actual like visible one like that. I'm not counting like fighting games. Well, I mean, there was Sega Sonic Arcade. Oh, I right. kind of would have preferred it if we just stuck to rings. All right. Well, well, you well, well, Icky, then you will be joining us when we cover Shadow the Hedgehog with Doug because that has rings. <laughs> okay, but it also has a system in place wherein if you get hit in that game. You don't lose all your rings, you just lose a, a like, sum. Which I love. I love that. More should do that. You, you lose about 10 I or 20. Have said that with Tails here. This is why Frontiers is a good game, because it learned... It learned... A, Shadow the Hedgehog walked so that Frontiers could spin dash. <laughs> <laughs> right? M more like Shadow the Hedgehog, like, limped with the one good leg it had so Frontiers could run. And then Shadow was damned to head in the back. Ah, no, it's still... I, 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 do I think it was a little bit... Do I think it was a little... Oh, jeez. Do I think it, uh... It was a little try-hard in some areas? Whoa. Yes, but, I, but I'm, I'll, nice. I'll be here with Doug and say that I think Shadow the Hedgehog has redeeming qualities to it. I did it! It does. All two of them. Whee! There they are. <laughs> anyway. What's this glowing stick of radium? By, so, uh, oh, that's a, that's a chaos drive. That, that That's one of the things you can use for the Chow Garden system. The Chow Garden? That's pure kangaroo essence. <laughs> pure <laughs> kangaroo uh, chemicals. Yeah. Basically, they're there for those that don't want to constantly want to make their chows look like weird-ass oh, animal please. hybrids. Keep your mm -hmm. voice like me. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. So she is. I hate that delay. She's young. She thinks she's so cool because she broke into a top secret military base. So what the hell is all that chalk writing on the back of, uh, of the cell? I don't know, but whoever wrote it must have been criminally insane. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You think they would have, like... Like, because I don't know how often they use that present cell. You think after a while they would just wash it off. Also, yeah. this place has probably been like uninhabited for like 50, 60 years. Also, in addition to, uh, also compared to, I think, SA1, 
I think the mo I, I think as it's already been brought up a couple times, I think the mocap actors had a little too many cups of coffee before they did their recordings for this. <laughs> they that and they were watching too many uh they were watching too many common writer movies. Sounds about right. Yeah, I can see that. I almost thought she was gonna close the door. Gotcha! Now God damn it, I don't want to get back he in there. It's like, you're safer in here than I am. You know, you have, now that I think about it, it would be cool enough to not leave a some sort of bed in that uh, in that uh, whole uh, jail cell anyway. Oh, come on. He has a perfectly uh, fine the linoleum floor. So do I welcome to Metal Harbor, everybody! Oh, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, this, this is honestly my favorite Sonic stage in the game. Oh, hey, it's the level that I recognized, like, immediately in Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, I mean, it, who could forget this kind of level layout? Especially when it gets uh, retrofitted to look more like, uh, what was it, Green Hill or uh, Random City level? Chemical Plant. And I agree, and I agree. Yeah, it was chem that's right, it was Chemical Plant. And I agree, Hype. Something about, like, the jaunty music, the blue ocean and sky, and... Uh, just again, like I, I, I do dig this adventure style, like more open, like more open air, like less narrow hallways. Light dash. Yeah, we still got that move. Yeah, we do. yeah the, the light dash from the first game. Huh? You know, whatever did happen to my old speed light speed shoes? It's right there. Oh, light shoes. That was handy. Thankfully, unlike Sonic Adventure this time, it's instantaneous. You press the button near a trail of rings, and you go zip zop zoom and bop straight to the other side. Mm -hmm. Only when you're at a trail of rings, though. Wait, and do you're telling me that... It and it works on any trail of rings, by the way. Re rewinding the VHS tape a little bit there, because the time this came out. So, your So when you collect any item, it asks you to then restart the whole stage again? Oh, no, you don't have oh, to. Oh, no. Uh, I he think just paused just... the game and did the. Oh, uh, he just wants to show off the new route. Exactly. I'm just doing this for brownie points. Yeah, he's doing this in style. Doing it for that some goddamn time bonus. Yeah. I did notice that sometimes you'll encounter a gun droid that's gold. Is there like a reward for breaking those ones? Big reward. You get extra points. That's about it. Ah, okay. But Whoa. they disappear after like a second or two, and they don't respawn. So. Yeah. Right. Get a wall blast. Well then, Mr. S also, they don't mind as uh, Sonic's. Uh, New somersault ability is a little faster than it should be. That is uh, the result of the hedge panel uh, mod I input in this game. Hedge panel. Hedge panel? Wait, do you, wait, uh, do, did I stutter? Do, wait, do you know? Do you know of it, hype? Well, no. Actually, I was just going to ask in general. Like, did since uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, do you want to go into detail about like how many and what type of mods we put into this? Because like I know we mentioned that we were putting mods into it, but I figured people would like to know which ones in particular you decided to put in. Let me, like, just... So, uh, you may have noticed earlier that City Escape looked a little prettier than, uh, it usually is. Yeah, sure did. That was the result of a an, of enhanced City Escape mod I put that allows you to wow. customize it to your liking. Whether you want to, say, put a whole, put, like, the original Dreamcast billboards on there, or change the, uh, textures to look a little more HD-friendly. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, call it a hunch, but I think James Mann has played this game, like, 50 bajillion times. Oh, gee, it's almost, it's almost like I grew up with this game since it came out. Literally, <laughs> I got this on my 10th birthday, and I barely stopped playing it since. Ooh. Aww. That's valid. It's a good game. From humble beginnings. Mind you, I'm 31 years old right now. Let that be, stand as a <laughs> testament to how unhealthily obsessed I am with this game. <laughs> so you were 21 when you first started playing this? I was saying, no, <laughs> <laughs> it was 10. <laughs> but I was saying, God, I was saying, like, I'm God, sorry, dang. my brain did the thing where it's like, wait, 31 minus 10. No, the wait. other way around. <laughs> no, no, the other one. No, that's our <laughs> generations. <laughs> But no, I mean like no, but like but God damn, like I don't blame him. Like there's a reason why this there's a reason why the characters introduced in this game still are around to this day, and why people would love this and adventure to get. There's through. a reason why Shadow's considered one of the still to this day one of the most popular characters in the franchise, even if realistically he should have just stuck, should just stayed with this his debut game. Is it because of this cutscene right here, right now? I had a reason. That and many more. You're comparing yourself to me. Also, thank you to the uh, mod that I use for all the uh, sound mixing. Oh, yeah. They still kept it so that Sonic still interrupted him because, you know, intentional or not, that's still... It feels in character. It still, it still perfectly services the uh, narrative. Oh my god, are you doing the thing? You know the thing? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is happening? <laughs> I love this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Somersault Glitch. 
I love this. The somersault goes is great. <laughs> if you lightly tap the button in such a way, you will not uh, somersault, but the uh, hitbox for the somersault will still be active. The hitbox is coming. <laughs> it was on this day that Shadow realized that hedgehogs are pointy. <laughs> I think one of my... It's not so a glitch, but to me it is, because it's still fucking funny, rent-free in my head. Where, uh... It's around uh, the final level of the game, where you play a Sonic just before the Bio Lizard. You hit the, uh... Oh, I love this part. I'll stop my thing right here, then, for that skip scene. Whoa! You weren't supposed to hear that. Oh. And Shadow's still there. You've heard too much. Also, I love how this cutscene takes place at the end of level. We're now at the beginning of the level. Well, just run for it. But yeah, continue, Doug. Um, uh, again, the, before the bio lizard. Yeah, before the bio lizard, I hit the switch with Sonic, and I just ironically charged my spin dash on it, and I was just spin dashing around the fucking switch like a fucking orbit. Oh lord! <laughs> I fucking love that. That was rent free in my head. Whoa. I just lost my shit when I uh, found that out. Nice. Now, quick question, James: Is there a way to get to that bottom ledge without having to just jump down from the uh, top ledge? Honestly, Iki. Your guess is as good as mine. I have never, ever gone down those bottom paths, and I'm not sure how you're supposed to. We never go down. I, I assume maybe it has to do with how fast you jump onto those lines, but usually it's so instantaneous, it almost feels like a... Uh, it feels like one of those things that should have been left in the left on the cutting room floor. I got the feeling that you're just meant to jump down there. Well, on, like, your own volition. And before I forget, there is a secret special passageway we can take around here. There is. That leads us to Ooh. our other light speed ability, the light speed attack. Hey! Press B to charge up and then really Oh, okay, so that's how they keep it from the original. Um, So, okay, how about this? Super duper coped up hoeing attack. So, how about this? Uh, Hive, what were your experiences like with this generation? Nice. What were your experiences like with this generation of. What's your what's your experience with this generation of Sonic hype? Um, well, with Adventure 2 specifically, I remember because. Well, I mentioned it a handful of times on the channel. My experience with 3D Sonic was kind of backwards. Heroes was technically my first 3D Sonic game. And then after that, um, I forget where I saw this from, but it was like some fan comic I remember reading at the time. They had like a little like mini review of Adventure 2, and they gave it a really glowing review, so I decided, yeah, you know what, the next time I see it, I'll probably try it out for myself. And so uh, the GameStop, not GameStop, it was like a, a local game store that used to be right. in my town. It's not there anymore. It, it had a toys? Uh, no, no, it was a, it was a local one. Um, they had a copy of SA2 Battle for GameCube, and I played through it, and I largely agreed with them with that review. I really enjoyed playing through SA2, you know, warts and all. And to this day, I still get, and to this day, I do still think that, like, I do feel like some of the criticisms are justified, but I don't know, I honestly just have an easier time going back to this and liking it more than I could with Adventure 1. All right, it's because of like the almost non-stop pace of level design for Sonic and Shadow. Well, a lot of it has to do with well, like like I mentioned before, it doesn't waste time. It gets right to the point with the levels. The levels themselves, I feel like, just have a better sense of wow. focus. Com oh boy, just have like a better sense of focus compared to the ones in SA One. Nice. Like not even just with the Sonic levels, but with just all the levels in general. It felt like they had like a more clear idea of the path they want you to take and whatnot, as opposed to, like, in SA1, they would just sometimes just drop you into a patch of land and be like, all right, away you go. I I reckon the reason that is is because every stage in Sonic Adventure 2 battle, or, you know, Sonic Adventure 2 in general, is built for one character each. Jesus! So they're not multi-purpose like in Sonic Adventure 1. I sure hope nothing happens that has to have this game be delayed. Awkwardly. In a mountainous region. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> Meanwhile, do, do, Knuckles is still do, hunting do, do, for the do, Master do, Emerald pieces. Do you know where so we came across? There's no time to lose. I, okay. I, I, I was about to say, Icky, do you know where we at? Uh, in going light, get to me. I'm just gonna creep down Pumpkin Hill. I'm going to find my lost claw. feet. You know all the lyrics? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can sense it in my feet. The great Emerald's power allows me to feel. You're lying. I can't see it. <laughs> You 100% know the lyrics. Oh, I see it. Uh, <laughs> it's mine! Because I have no here. Oh, it's probably crazy. Give it crazy. here! Graveyard theory. Uh, it goes, try to approach me, he got dairy. <laughs> so, um, I thought it, I thought it was Leary. 
It is leery. Oh, okay. um, I just don't know all the lyrics. Okay. Go anyway, ahead, um, you know, no, as much as I want to appreciate the sick beats that Knuckles is dropping here, um, I do want to bring attention to something. Um, actually, I'll let James take the, the helm of this real quick because he was mentioning mods. Um, one particular mod that I think makes definitely changes up these levels for the better. Would you like to explain what it is, James? Uh, I forget the name of the mod right off the top of my head, but basically it changes the uh, Emerald Radar to work a lot more than like it did in um, Sonic Adventure 1. Yeah, back in the... Oh. Basically, in the original Sonic Adventure 2, every uh, Emerald Shard that you had to find, basically the radar would only uh, locate the one you're supposed to go to at the given time. It wasn't multi like multifunctional like it was in the original, and, you know, that is pretty much 90 per 80% of the reason why a lot of people really dislike the treasure hunting levels in Sonic Adventure 2. Because it yeah, could lead to such unnecessary backtracking. Yeah, and honestly, I'd be lying if I said I didn't understand that. Although I will say, now that we have that problem rectified with this mod, now that you don't have to worry about the, the radar being too picky, like, that in tandem with the levels really highlights the fact that, again, in my opinion, I think Knuckles' yeah, stages in Adventure 2 just have a lot more going for them in Adventure 1. Like, it feels like they they have, like, more of, like, an identity and just are more fun to traverse, whereas the ones in SA1 are just like, okay, let's just take assets from, like, previous Sonic levels and just throw Knuckles into it. Right, they were they, they were pretty much made for him, specifically. That little girl is the ugliest fucking thing I've ever seen. It was a st it was the time. It's not a style of the times. The NPCs in Sonic Adventure 1 look better than that. Not in the FMV stuff. We didn't. You barely, you barely could see them in the FMVs. Exactly. That's why they're better. Oh, I mean, let's be real here. What else do you expect from a uh, development studio that literally had half of its uh, main members, you know? stay in Japan while the rest of them went to, went to the U.S. of A. just to uh, make this game. So suddenly it turns out an orbiting asteroid actually housed a weapon to rival that of the Death Egg. And it bears the the shape of our favorite nemesis. Are you sure? I thought that was just two balls and a dong. <laughs> Funny thing is that, like, we talk about how, like, oh, it's in the oh, same shape face as Eggman as well. Oh, wait. Oh, would you believe, I, me, if, oh. would you believe <laughs> me if I said that was just a happy coincidence? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was about to say, like, I, the, the face was like that when Eggman got there, but it is a powerful face that blew up a chunk of a moon. How do you like that, Obama? Hey, is it just me or is that a tidal wave coming in our direction? <laughs> Thunder, rain, and lightning. I am never going to <laughs> let people ignore this, that, like, yeah, remember when Eggman was so intense that he blew up half the moon as a warning shot? I do miss that, Eggman. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did blow up half the moon as a warning shot. That was that was not just him actually missing. That was him. Okay, like, point to me the to point out the hole in the moon for me then. It's sure. It's right out the. Yeah, he, he, we just saw it there like a few seconds ago. Look, we're going we're going into a level taking place at night. You better point out that fucking moon with the hole in it. I can't look outside the window, Icky. It's bright out. Long. <laughs> I could sure can. To be fair, you technically can still see the moon even in daylight. Yeah. Depends on the deck. I want Doug to like take a photo, a selfie, and then Photoshop that moon in the background, like, <laughs> like pointing up at it, like with a freaking like. It's like, Mr. look, half of the moon is gone. <laughs> Guys, don't worry, half of the moon is gone. I can prove it. <laughs> okay. Remember Sonic X? By, that by the end of that end of that whole arc, he actually up and fixed the moon. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, what? Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. Well. It was interesting. You know, random See, he couldn't have blown up. Look, he couldn't have blown up the moon because there's no moon in the skybox. All right. Uh, while we are while we are <laughs> playing this Tales again, I should ask because I know it changes by heroes. Is this still the same Tales as in Sonic Adventure One? Yes. No. Nope. In fact, it's his brother. It's his younger brother. Ah. No, in Sonic Heroes, it's his younger brother. No, it's another. No, in Heroes, Sonic it was heroes. a completely different kid. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. In Heroes, I am half convinced it was the director's cousin or something because of how poor the performance was. <laughs> but uh, hey, Booster, finally we can jump. Either that, either that, or even even he started hit puberty by the time Heroes was coming out. Quiet. Puberty comes for us all again. Although it's funny that you say that it was a staff member's son, Logan, because in Heroes, Tails is voiced by the same actor, the the son of the actor that voiced Espio. Oh. Huh. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, He's uh, a ninja kid. Fair enough. Whoa. I just can't wait to, until we get to heroes. Can we? Yeah. Can we, can we just approve of how if 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 freaking 
if, if nice. freaking Death Battle was here, that they could just right now have used that single clip to... Oh, damn, one million bounty. Uh, could have used that clip by itself to justify that Tails actually is one of the most physically strong characters in the Sonic lore. He held on to a... He held on to that little pole ring and allowed the weight of an entire mech to be carried underneath him as he, with a single hand, pulled himself, like, and uh, let that freaking hook thing carry him up. And the, and the biggest twist of it all is that the only thing that was holding... that he was that only way he was able to hold on to the mech while holding on to that uh, pulley was literally was by using his two tails. Damn! I don't know. Have you guys seen what you can make out of fucking cardboard boxes nowadays? Yes. It's all just an elaborate Are you? Cosplay. Are you... Is that is yeah. that to imply that the cyclone here is made out of cardboard boxes? Yes, a hundred percent. It's like one of those elaborate cosplays you see at conventions. Um, mm -hmm. Tail takes Labo very seriously. Yeah, see those jet streams? Those are just like paper streamers. I mean, it's funny you bring that up, considering this is the same two-tailed kid who I think he, what, didn't he say he made a whole TV out of paper clips? Yes. Okay. Uh, it, it was some bragging that he did in Lost World. Look, the, you could clearly see the rubber bands holding the lights together, is what I'm trying to say. I'm worth more than that! I'm worth two million! Right, two, two tails! Which, by the way, is the universal currency of Sonic Land just rings, or is there a form of, like, what monetary... The? What, what the? Internet connections required? <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, that just... I'm sure it's... <laughs> Sorry, but to Wait, continue talking about the audio battle, go? you must enter your credit card information. Where did the audio go? Can I... Let me see if you're starting it might help. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, that was a close <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, did, We lost audio for a second. It's okay, folks, we're back. <laughs> In order to play Sonic Adventure 2, you need to constantly be online. Steam Deck! <laughs> that, that ends the free trials. S.A.T. So, you must enter your credit card God information. God damn it! <laughs> you're... And Billy, it's funny you bring that up, because actually one other mod I do have installed, and I was tempted to use for this playthrough. Yeah, huh? Uh, you can actually change the... the you can ch actually change the uh, models for all the characters to represent more so how they looked in SA2, uh, two, like, SA2 two, uh, Vanilla, with all, like, the lower... Yeah, there's no... Or even the trial version of Sonic, where he still had his trademark, uh, gold buckled sneakers. Huh! Oh, the standard shoes. I'm surprised they had that much detail to go around with those, okay. But, I mean, okay. you can still see that model in the original SA2 and SA2 battle uh, opening cutscenes. So I guess... So yeah, I, very briefly, but it is there. So I guess assuming... When he's from the helicopter. So I guess assuming we will never actually see it in the in this commentary, for whatever, you know, for whatever reason, um, is the internet stuff really only required for, like, leaderboards or online battling? I think it's purely for the leaderboards. Okay. That's it. Okay. Was there online battling on the Dreamcast for me? Hey! I don't, I don't know if Battle was on the Dreamcast version. I thought it was only in the GameCube, hence uh, SA2 there was a, There was a versus mode in the Dreamcast version. It's just that the GameCube version pretty much allowed you to p play all that stuff more or less from the get-go. Also, Did you want to this with all the characters you're going to lock. Pardon? Did it allow for land-connected play? I don't know. I doubt it. Oh, you want to know, like, also, another thing? Uh, sorry. Uh, one thing... I might have missed it during the, uh, the Aquatic Mind- no, 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 the, uh, the Pumpkin Hill stage, but, uh, Knuckles has a weird little thing to do with ghosts in, uh, this game, and I hate it. Why? He just keeps on stumbling across them. Yeah, he keeps stumbling across jump scare ghosts. Mm -hmm. Anyway- well, Actually, before I actually- before I actually go out of my way to get the emeralds, I just remember there's something super important I need to get in this level. One ever ghost? No. Two more left. Just a spooky key. Not a spooky key. Sorry. Uh, while we're grabbing oh, it, uh, go ahead. Okay, the, well, that, that, that robot just appeared. And just while we are grabbing it, go ahead. I... Well, first off, I noticed while you were up there, there was a mysterious stone column that Knuckles passed by. It looks an awful lot like the ruins of the Mystic Ruins. The Mystic Ruins? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, this part. Although, it looks like a piece of the Mystic Ruins, or, for the, of the more educated, it totally looks like challenge mode fodder. Run, yeah. run, oh boy, run, oh boy, run, oh boy, run, run, run. There you go. Air necklace. Now we never have to worry about drowning ever again. At least yeah. while we're not. So wait, you'll never drown? Nope. Oh. This, thing pure, this thing produces pure one unfiltered oxygen. Yeah. How? 
Sure would be awkward if I happened to lose this between one and between two and heroes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Logan, you only even have to worry about that because if you touch water and heroes, you die. Oh well, no! If you just fall in water. No, die. no, no. He's right. I don't think there's any. Uh, I don't think there's you any. Run along the shoreline. Well, yeah, but along the shoreline, you babies. I know. But, uh, you can feel the the, the seawater in between your toes. Yeah, right off the bat anyway, there. Is... Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I, I just remembered another thing. Just going back to uh, the multiplayer, one thing that I know SA2 Vanilla had for its multiplayer that for some reason they didn't bring over in battle was so the battle mode. So the the multiplayer did have like its own line of exclusive characters. One of them that ended up not being in battle for some reason was Big the Cat. Yep. Oh, yeah, Big was in the original one. He was, and uh, uh, unfor unfortunately for the for battle, uh, Dark the Dark Chow took his place. Aww, makes me wonder why. Well, he lives on, and he Not lives sure. on in Easter eggs at least. Yeah. I get the feeling that Eggman wasn't terribly happy about Big uh, con literally stealing his uh, Eggmobile. But it's I don't believe it. I lost to a purple cat. But it's comfy. I just want to have fun. I just wanted the heated backseat. You could have the rest Don't of the Don't backseat game me. But that's the best part! Hi there, my name is Big the Cat, and this is my gaming ring. Yeah, this Don't, is you know, I would like to give the I would like to give this back to you, Mr. Rag, but unfortunately I seem to be stuck. I have one request, Mr. Ragman. Don't backseat game me. I do wonder what kind of games he would play. Fishing games. Fishing sims. What do you expect to play? <laughs> Fishing sims. <laughs> He you just know plays RuneScape old school. <laughs> Actually, you know what, Icky, that does remind me. Um, I'll show it to you later. But me and a group of my friends spent like a half hour just theorizing the types of games all the Sonic characters would cut, would play if they had access to games. And we came up with some really amusing stuff. Oh, like what? Well, like, for example, Knuckles here. We had this idea Hi, that, I'm like... Well, one idea, one idea we have for Knuckles here was that, like, not just similar to, like, the one Tales 2 episode, uh, Knuckles wouldn't play video games because he doesn't know how they work. No, I think Knuckles would understand how to play the Sims as we, at most. Sims? Yeah, so he could play God. <laughs> I don't think he has a God complex. No, but don't you want to know what it feels like just We can trace the call to find Eggman. What if he just pleased to him, Ryder? <laughs> you do it once. Let's meet up there. You do it once, you never go back. Uh, would Chaos play uh, Subnautica or uh, Call of Cthulhu? That was a different view in that cutscene there. I don't think Chaos would play any game, period. You'd probably play stuff like Super Liminal. Oh, hang on. Well, what was that, Doug? Or The Witness. No, no. If Knuckles were going to play anything, it would be Wii Sports. Wii Sports? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because it's the only game that came with this console. And he doesn't know where to buy more. Before we continue with this tangent, because I do love this kind of topic, were you trying to say something, Doug? Beep beep! I was just saying, that was a different view in that fucking uh, cutscene there where Tails was driving off. Oh. Uh, yep, that was uh, that was uh, the how it was originally played in the Dreamcast release. Ah, Hi. okay. So anyways, Doug, continue. Omega, please do. Toot toot! Oh yeah, exactly. He, like, Well, we had the idea that like both Shadow and Omega would play Doom Eternal, but the way they play it is that like, Shadow would be completely stone-faced as he plays it, just taking in the game, whereas Omega would just like relish in all the chaos he brings in the game. That sounds about right, because that's how I usually play Doom Eternal. Worthless consumer models. <laughs> Worthless consumer models. Speaking it's of which, I really need to get back to playing that game soon. It reminded me, actually, because mainly because I've also been kind of idly scrolling Twitter a little bit here and there while we're watching. Uh, I've been much, I, I've been keeping an eye on um, this one artist who is not an IDW. Oh my lord! Oh, oh boy! Uh, who is a uh, uh, rip that family? Seriously? <laughs> who is uh, an IDW? I think that was the National Lampoon car. He's not an IDW artist, but he does, but he is a big fan of the IDW like you know series and stuff. It goes by Lemon Eyebrows. Um, oh, he's that the artist. Yeah, I love he's that. He's the artist. He's the, he's the artist who did that one fan comic of Sonic just getting just giving up and biting Knuckles just to get the emerald out of his hands. Oh yeah, I love biting that. him. What the heck? Biting is him. That? Yeah, like, that's like, so like basically. Sonic... Yeah, go ahead. Hmm? 
Uh, basically, the concept is that, like, Knuckles has one of the emeralds Sonic needs. Uh, classic Sonic and classic Knuckles, by the way. And Knuckles is like, ah. well, I'm sorry, but if you gotta do something for me if you want this emerald. And, and Sonic is like, I don't have time for this! He just bites his hand to get the emerald ah. out of it. <laughs> I, I, should, I should say right now, I should say right now, it's, it's because Knuckles is also doing that thing where, like, he has his hand held up to, like, hold, hold like, hold against Sonic's head to keep him from, like, reaching the emerald. So then he just bit the hand. And it, so then Knuckles just looks so like, <laughs> and Tails like, what the heck was that? So wait, is it like that image of uh, SpongeBob biting Patrick's hand? It, it, I, I don't know. Maybe it, 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 it definitely just. It, oh, he bit me. He definitely. He, uh, no, yeah. I, no, it wasn't like that. But they, he definitely suddenly gave Sonic like sharp, pointy teeth just for that, like, like, <laughs> like cartoonishly, like triangle, like cartoonishly triangular teeth just for that bite. And then, but anyway, uh, I was keeping an eye on him, and one of his, uh, and one of the uh, fan artists, fan art that he had done, Doug. Was I forgot its name, but what's the name of the black general? Black general, who uh, general. who uh, who? That's, that's exactly it. It's general. It is just gem. Oh, is it emerald? Oh, so it's emerald and general. Emerald's the yeah. yellow and orange one. General's the black and yellow. Oh. oh, I thought it was the other way around. Okay, so yes, it was Omega talking to general like <laughs> like an uncle to a nephew. Like, tell me, little one. What what is your favorite bone to rip out of your enemies? Reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our oh no, it's the precedent. Yeah, can I just say real quick how amusing it is between this and Shadow the Hedgehog? How you know, despite the obvious texture changes, his whole phys his whole physical appearance here barely like actually stayed the same. Yeah, yeah. like the demeanor. He still looks like he still looks like a jank ass like. He looks like the guy from the Nintendo cereal commercial. He looks like he should be related to entropy. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the head, sh it's the head shape and how. No, 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 yeah. no. You know what he looks yeah. like? He looks like a motherfucker. He does. Why is Eggman? He an does. Oh my god! Look, like, put the sunglasses on him. It's him. It's him, Mr. God. Put the, <laughs> put the glasses it's on. It's a motherfucker. He became president. And just pinch and pull his nose out and then. <laughs> Jesus All of you people Christ. really love fueling my desire to see a Sonic and Crash crossover. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. I mean, heck, if, if Crash, if Crash and Cortex can team up with the likes of DK and Bowser, the sky's the limit. Yeah, right. So what is the president's aide more? Is that the president's aide or a stenographer? It's his aide. I think it's. I think she's a, she's his aide. Oh. Maybe. I thought he was in like a, a court case in his limousine. <laughs> Listen, it's kind of, she's kind of a weird case considering, like, I think the devs love her so much that she gets her own freaking menu theme alongside the other playable characters. Plus Maria and Amy. A menu theme and voiceover. Yes. I guess it's because of her sultry kind of vocal tone. She kind of looks like, you know what, she, you know what, now let's have a look at her. I mean, you know, we're never going to see her again, but it's like, she looks like she could have been Maria's mother. You're telling me that Eggman's inside that JPEG of a pyramid? <laughs> what are we doing in Egypt, Sonic? This is where we're going to find the shuttle, right? The ancient Egyptian shuttle. How do you expect us to get in there? Is it to the object? Yeah. I mean, we were, Holy shit, we were you're like, right. right by Cape Canaveral like four stages ago. Why are we going to Egypt for a rocket? I'm going to punch that 2D structure. <laughs> the artifacting on that thing is hideous. Man, to think once upon a time when we had C when we had CRTs, that thing actually looked looked fucking. Oh, really no, like um, now in the yeah. freaking 2020s, it's like it's only man. Off. That thing just looks like, that, that thing just looks like silly paper. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm just thinking like just to further on that joke. I'm just thinking back to the Monty Python. It's only a <laughs> Shh. I know you did. But, but yeah, where were you about to say, Logan? Oh, just the fact that, like, you guys have seen those tweets, right, where, like, it's on Twitter or something, like, but, like, they'll break down the fact of, like, no, guys, the CRT wasn't a limiter. In fact, the CR in fact, a lot of pixel graphics were designed with the CRT in mind to, I guess, artificially, like, fill out the palette of some of those sprites to make them look more advanced than they actually were. Hmm. I mean, hey, say whatever you will about uh, early game development, like, they got really crafty with uh, how they did things. Oh, yeah. They did. That's true. But now we get to play Super Mario RPG in HD soon. Oh my god! <laughs> what a time we live in now. And I don't care what people say. I don't care if Peach suddenly looks like a scrimblow with like the with like her head just like squished they all onto look a like body. Okay, well, no, but Peach more so than the other ones. No, they all did. I mean, you say that about Peach. I mean, I just look at Mario and I just see see him, and it's like I want guppies. <laughs> hey, yeah, guppies. I was about to say it. I want guppies. <laughs> it was the, you know it was what? that. Going back to like. Good. Sorry, I'm just sorry, real quick, Mario, going back to but everybody needs puppies in this universe. Oh uh, yeah, do you, you say that, Bowser. 
Uh, what's up? Even Bowser needs upbeats. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just going back to like the sprite fidelity in Mario uh, RPG. Where am I? Something where am I? Where am I? Wait, oh. There you are. Oh. oh. Like, something I never noticed until looking at like someone was like deep diving the trailer and whatnot. Like, the shot where you, like, you see Mario like hiding behind the curtains at Booster's Tower. Um, mm -hmm. If you look closely like at the, the toy box, um, so you have like the Peach doll, obviously. Then you have a Samus doll and a Disco yeah. toy and a bike. Well, not a bike, like a car based on Road Rally. Apparently, those was, were uh, in the. Apparently, those were actually in the original game. It's just that they were so pixelated, you can only barely tell it. Which is nice I thing that, that must mean. Stunt... I thought that was supposed to be like that. Stunt, stunt Racer stunt FX. Game. Oh, Stunt Racer FX. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. oh, but 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 regardless, yeah, that might I, I, I like. Bad. No, but fine. But regardless, I like that because that then means that that then means that the people who are working on this, it's not just people who have seen the game but don't really know everything about it. Like, they, no, I, I now feel a bit more, um, a bit more um, confident, confident about this game's ability to make things, at the very least, visually on like accurate to what it did in the original. Which means we get to see Samus sleeping in Peach's bed at some point. Yeah, resting for Mother Brain. And Link. And Link. Oh, actually, no, Link will be in the hotel. Oh, yeah, I think it's in the hotel. But now, but one thing I am very curious about, though, is going to be, again, the localization. Because I don't know if it's going to be able to be the same as it was decades ago. Well, uh, obviously, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to make it the same. I know at the very I, most, I, like, I, get, I think at the very most, they're going to get rid of most of the pop culture references. Right, right like, like, we're not going like to be having Bruce Lee comparison. Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. I hope they retain the, but I lost, but I forgot my business at home. <laughs> I mean, that'd be nice, actually. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna... Also, I don't know if it's just me, fellas, but I get the feeling that, I get the feeling that uh, whoever's, whoever's base this is wants to keep it a top secret. I was about Possibly. to say, I, I thought you were about to say. Also, I, when I, I was I, younger, I, mm -hmm. when I was younger, I thought those green maps on the floor were supposed to be like little slime baths for the monkeys to sit in. <laughs> I don't think that would be very comfortable for them to see. I don't know why. I did it! Oh, goal reached. I mean, who do you... Now that I think about it, whose base do you think this is? I don't know. Well, I, I mean, judging feel. by the... Judging by the mustache and smile iconography, I think it's safe to assume it's King K. Rool. Oh, I thought you were about to say... Uh, what was, what was the name of that one Tanuki character from Team Sonic Racing? Oh, uh, I forgot. The Dongapa? Him? The Dongapa, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe it's his base. Oh, I Jesus. forgot, yeah, the one that everybody thought was going to be Eggman, but it's like, oh, I'm just, I just grow up my hair weird, I'm, I swear. <laughs> I mean, I'll say for what it's worth, I do appreciate that story for, you know, being pretty uh, self-aware about the fact that this totally looks like a very suspicious character, but no, he's he is 100% legitimate. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Meanwhile, uh, Doug, Doug Hype and I will currently be going through Sonic's adventures in the Pyramid Cave. With uh, another one of my favorite tracks from the game. Same. Oh yeah, no, this track's pretty good. Honestly, this is one of my favorite uh, Sonic stages in this game. Yeah, it's really fun. I honestly say, truth be told, I used to hate this level when I was younger, but nowadays it's uh, pretty alright. Fair enough. Like, there's this one sequence in particular where you have to go through this very long hallway under oh, a time yeah. limit just to reach the door. Yeah. And that one I used to fumble up quite a bit in. <gasps> Gamma! Gamma! I am not the Gamma that you seek. Ah! Well, you know, it looks so mass-produced and not quite as good as it used to be. Unfortunately, I am mass-produced. Bounce bracelet. Who are you, meatbag? <laughs> no, it's Fuzzbag. We're Fuzzball. Oh, he's not covered. Well, except for the movie version, he's not covered in fuzz. He's covered in spikes. Mm -hmm. Or quills, if you want to get technical. Well, quills basically are just <clears throat> spikes. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we currently have access to probably the most, probably the best uh, bouncing ability that Sonic's had throughout these whole throughout the whole series: the bounce bracelet. Yep. Yeah, I like the bounce bracelet. Hi, back. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Ooh. We got the bounce I remember bracelet. Two, two, two. <clears throat> Oh, nice. I remember this day. Well, I remember this. Oh, no! You killed him. <laughs> well, he tried to shoot us first. But that was okay, Gamma! We were, we were, like, really having to deal with, like, those tiny ghosties. Well, no, I'm talking about the Gammas. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Look at the door. Yeah, they, again, they're mass produced now. <clears throat> Aww. I'm seeing double. Eggman decided to actually honor the one uh, robot that totally didn't betray him or anything in the slightest. But I'm also looking at, like, I, I, why would. God. Uh, I'm just saying, like, I, I know I joked about it in Adventure 1, but I still love the idea of, like, Hey, get off hey! me, buddy! 
I still would love the idea of like how Eggman basically never knew about like of Gamma's path of redemption, redemption, and he just still just has no idea whatever happened to him. Well, I was about to say because other, I was about to say because otherwise Gamma's whole story could have been the perfect, it could have been the perfect justification or perfect incentive for Eggman to stop using uh, animals in his robots because <clears throat> gasp they still have a conscience. Hey, get, get. Nice. Those stupid ghosts have no sense of like personal space. No, I mean they have, they just want they just want to they just want to go into a spooky. Yeah, me. I. Do hug. They got. They that, were if ghosts are real, death. then that means there's an afterlife. Am I going to hell? <laughs> <clears throat> we told you every freaking time. You're all too. Come on, let's go back to hell. <laughs> It was that. I actually need to genuinely ask at some point. Uh, uh, yeah, well, okay, there's a number of things. One was Illbleed, because Illbleed is still a wacky, fun, like, I, I would actually, like, oh, I, would, yeah. I would actually, like, <laughs> I, I, would, I would shit on camera if they suddenly announced an Illbleed port for Switch, just out of complete <laughs> nowhere. Number two, uh, forgetting what all I said. Oh, no, 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 do you, you think you're, you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna lose your shit if that happened? Uh, think about what, how NECA would react to oh that. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, but number two, forgetting that I just said I was shit on camera. Number three, uh, the other thing we were joking about is, I actually need to ask, hi, have you, act, have you seen the Supernatural Scooby-Doo crossover? Besides that um, one scene. I have actually. Like, I... Oh. Or at the very least, I remember seeing yes. most of it. But I do remember seeing a lot of it. Like, I remember, like, the bit where it's, like, they go through, like, the, the little chase scene that introduces, like, the original theme, including the bit where, like, they're boarding the door, and then it cuts to... I forget which one of the, the, the guys it was, but one of them just was leering on Daphne as she's still boarding the door. Oh, yeah. I got that. I oh, want to say it's the one that... Scene. Was it just, like... Hmm? Oh, uh, the... Sorry, uh, you finish your thing, hype, then I'll explain it to Eki. Well, I was just gonna say, like, I think the one that was leering at Daphne, I want to say it was the not Jason <clears throat> Knuckles one, but I forgot the, the name of him, though. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. That's not a justification, Sonic. Also, that listen, that, that, Sonic. I may have the if I may have the innate ability to feel the power of the Master Emerald with my own feet, but that doesn't apply to every single treasure known to man. Listen, Sonic. I may be able right, to. Also, I guess for... that... <clears throat> listen, Knuckle. Listen, Sonic. I I know I can collect <laughs> emerald shards, but I'm not the fucking master of keys here. I'm not the also, master I just of know, like, that, I'm not the master of unlocking. That shot of that. I was about to say, I just know it's like that shot of Sonic being all like the world's greatest treasure hunter. That's definitely different than how I remember looking in the GameCube version. Yeah, definitely. They did they did change it for that one, and I mean I'll definitely give credit where it's due. That's like one of the few, you know, choreography changes that were for the better. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's see what else. Um, but yeah, explain to Aki real quick. Oh, so you is. know the show Supernatural. I'm aware of it. I know that it exists. Okay, so basically, they, they they usually like go after like you know supernatural threats or things of the sort. Uh, in the in that particular crossover, it was a cursed Scooby Doo tape that, for whatever reason, either the monster was real or at the very least the threat was more real because in this threat oh. because it because uh oh that's a big boom. because in also that giant tooth I don't know it was Timmy Tooth. But no, it because he, <laughs> it was Timmy Tooth. Jesus yes, Christ. it was. It was him. But no, but it, <laughs> there he is. Jesus Christ, Logan! Thanks for the nostalgia bomb there. Yeah, <laughs> I remember I haven't that. Seen that. I, I haven't seen that in years. Me neither. Yeah. God, his eyes looked weird. Anyway, so the thing, anyway, so the thing with Supernatural was that it, it was a, uh, it, yeah, that's fair. It was a, cur it was a cursed Scooby Doo tape where, also, as opposed uh, to just before, the typical. Forget, is, actually, real quick, Logan, Logan, before yes. I forget, uh, this is one of my favorite tra uh, tracks of Knuckles' uh, Death Chamber. Mm -hmm. All right, it's the one where Knuckles uh, has like a philosophical discussion to himself. It's a very, I mean. That and, all, that and all, they also play a whole bunch of jazz to it. I mean, his, I mean, his soundtrack is super chill, and I love it. Yeah. Isn't the singer, um, the voice actor of, uh, Rack of the Rapper? I think it's still Drift Hawk? No, that was the first game. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> but in any case, yeah, so basically... Or as is a from the, I don't know. I don't know, actually. But, but yeah, essentially what happened was that as opposed to just the villain being Ooga Booga, uh, in this, in this cursed Scooby-Doo, in this cursed Scooby-Doo tape, uh, people were actually being killed. 
um, mm. like actual like murders that they were inve investigating. So <clears throat> using the power of magic, they um, they uh, they went into the Scooby Doo universe. Into the and tape, they become cartoons. They become cartoons and explain to them about all this stuff, and hence the whole like, you mean, this stuff is actually true, and then their whole like existential crisis that they have. It's a clip you can find on YouTube of the whole gang being exposed to the fact of, yeah, no, there are actual real like supernatural threats and stuff in the world. <laughs> You know, Fred is you know, like. I've definitely like, seen the clip. Yeah. yeah, I will admit, like, right. I do think that scene is funny, mostly just for the dialogue and the way that the gang deliver their lines. I feel like that revelation would be a lot more hard hitting if we hadn't already gone stuff like Zombie Island, which is Ghost, Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo, and just so many other iterations of Scooby Doo that already have this. Still more faithful Scooby Doo uh, reference in Velma. Oh, I also don't know if it ever... Yeah, I, almost, I mean... Go ahead. I mean, the fact that that episode literally was animated by the usual Scooby-Doo movie, like, staff is, like... Yeah, I think that just makes it all the more impressive. It must have been a lot of fun for them. I also forget when it started or what... Or why it was with this one in particular, but... Um, in SA2, there, there's more examples of... Supernatural. Oh, no. <laughs> what the... A ghost... You fought a couple of them already, dude. You're, you're... But yeah. You just went through like three stages featuring these damn things. Also, I love that Knuckles is probably one of the only characters who can both underplay and overplay reacting to a ghost. Yep. Depending on the, which version you like. <clears throat> That's on. right. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, there's that, there's this one, and the one that got cut from the game being all like, What the? A ghost! I find it really weird how the murals, like the hieroglyphs, depict this thing as more of like a fish. It does look fish-like. Or like a whale? Maybe, but just run after it and make sure to dig on the spot. But yeah, uh, but basically as you just showed off there with the drill claw, uh, another thing to note is- oh my gosh, nice. Another thing to note is that, um, in this version there's more instances of hearing the Japanese uh, voice effects. Uh, the, J the Japanese voice clips in some of their actions that they do. Well, like, or, 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 or. Yeah, or, Yosh. 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 Oh no, he is going to consume you. Jesus, <clears> he's <throat> Is that an instant there. kill if he eats you? I think it just, it just hurts you. Yeah. Fun fact if you want to go faster, stick to the inside of the circle, not the outer edge. Yeah. And you'll go around it's much faster. Horse racing rules, Knuckles. But obviously, don't go too fast, otherwise, uh, he'll oh. spook you. Curses. <laughs> Fair enough. I love that sound he makes. Just wait until he Scooby does that attack and boom, just go behind. God. <laughs> nice. Boom, boom. boom, boom. I have to imagine what the, who, like, whoever voiced King Boom Boo here, how much his throat was it was pretty much dead by the time after he was done voicing this thing. <laughs> Muncher, no. Get him. Look back. Get him. There you go. <laughs> nice. I'd say it's, at the very least, it's interesting to find a, it's interesting to find a boss that's not an Eggman mech. Yeah, literally. Or a gun soldier. Oh, also, um, just a random supernatural uh, element. Yeah, and he was never seen again. Also, I did have to take. Uh, I had to take a second to feed the cat. But did we touch upon like the unused take of Knuckles <gasps> stumbling upon awesome. the ghost? Yeah. Yes. Wait, what? That, that where he could be either be so nonplussed by it or. <gasps> What the, a ghost. A ghost. Yeah, where he like something like, so, like like he's like Funky Kong watching a banana be squished in his presence. <laughs> no! Also, I like. No! I never really focused on Eggman's poser. It's like I've been waiting for someone to take care of the ghost uh, problem. Uh, thank you again for that, by the way. That thing truly was a pass. Anyway, behold my greatest creation, history. <laughs> history. <laughs> Oh my god. I got this on loan from the Smithsonian, so if he's destroyed, the bill is on your head, Sonic. Curses, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. <laughs> Sonic's gonna be hit history if he's not careful. Behold my greatest weapon, archaeology! <laughs> inka dinka doos. Inka dinka. Get fucked, Sonic! Jeez. Easy, does it? The shrine nice. of the silver monkey. The challenge will challenge well, your... No, that's Legends of the Hidden Temple. I know, but it's like a, 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 a ancient stone facade faces remind me of old mech. I'm sorry. Wow, that, uh... Hmm. Huh? What happened? It's on to you. Uh, that, that platform's re refusing to... Uh, okay, never mind that. I'm just gonna have to, you know... Maybe he got jammed. Yeah. 
gonna have to wait my turn. Okay. I mean, this robot is kind of on the bread, so... we Wee! Hi. As we'll no doubt see, especially in the Dark Side story. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Easy. Does it. Up, 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 up. Oh! Nice. nice. So maybe that was part of the original design for this boss. Maybe. Oh, no. He's doing the Ring Around Rosie thing again. <clears throat> oh, no. Can you just hide underneath his palm? Yeah. Yeah. There. Just chill out, and then just wait, and then charge up a light speed attack. Which I am bummed that we, I don't think we ever, I don't think this ever came back in a Sonic game after this. No. Uh, nope. Never did. Darn. I mean, that, that technically, could be you technically have it in Heroes. Light speed <clears throat> attack? Well, yeah, like the, the whole, like, Sonic, like, zip zoops around nearby enemies oh, yeah. with, like, like, light speed. Oh, yeah, the light speed zip zoom <laughs> attack. <laughs> well, no, but, but that's his blast away! Like, that's his team blast ability. We're talking, like, basically being able to treat enemies like they're uh, light speed rings. Well, no, technically, after you do it, like, until the gauge fully fills up, Sonic will still do that to any enemy that's, like, within homing attack range on him. There we go. Oh, you mean the tornado attack? No, <clears throat> not that. You sure? Nice try, uh, hang on, like, you know what I'm talking about, James. Like, after you use the, the Team Blast, Sonic can still do something again to, like, the light speed attack. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean the after effect of his team, of his, uh, of his uh, team attack. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I guess that kind of counts. To a degree, it does. Good thing Ingman had one of these, uh, spare rockets lying around. Oh, you know, the ancient Egyptian rocket ships. Yahoo! Did you know that NASA's been NASA's been around since the two thousand millenniums? What? Who would have thought? <clears throat> On the news, like, no, our rocket is. I mean, Eggman's rocket is blasting off from the <laughs> pyramid. Blasting off again. What? What? What <laughs> scoundrels would ever think to hide a shuttle in the pyramid? Sir, I've received a report. The burglars of our spaceship happens to be furry. Ixnay on the Urglary Bay. Uh-oh. Oh, watch out oh, for that. Wow! Oh, no. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, boy. The only thing in the cargo bay are those master emeralds. Land the shuttle and let me out. I'm so glad they didn't fix the audio here. Well, here, because A, it's an FMV sequence. <laughs> A it's, an F oh, a, it's an FMV sequence, and B, I think it should add to the chaos of what the hell's going on. Yeah, they're, they're fucking panicking. Yeah, but I just find it, I just find it funny. Like Knuckles is angrily chiding Sonic about the Master Emerald pieces getting knocked away, and not, uh, Sonic's response is like, "Don't sweat it, Knuckles." It's like, are you fucking serious, dude? It's only the one thing that's capable of destroying the entire planet with a snap of his fingers. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of There's that magic attacks. number that when I was in the movie theater for the Sonic 2 and the minute I heard 50 years, I was like, God, 50 damn years it. ago. 50. Yeah, same here, Logan. They, of course they were gonna. I mean, let's be real here. They, Wait, he said something about Bernie Sanders there? No. <laughs> what? I don't think so. No, I mean, let's be real here. They already established that G that gun is a thing in the movies now. Of course they were going to start going into the SA2 plot some point or another. And then they said 50 it years ago, it's like, there it is! There it is! I just didn't think it was going to be that quick. There he is! Oh. Earlier when the Tails was talking about because of a terrible accident, that clip in particular I always remember because that's the clip that they used in, like, the fro in Nitro Red's Frogger Great Escape quote where it's like, oh, the kid, that kid is actually voiced by Tails. Because of a terrible accident. <laughs> you can just do that? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess... If you have, I mean, I guess when you think about it, like, the whole thing regarding the Chaos Emeralds is that they can turn people's thoughts into power. So maybe Tails took that into account and uh, wished up a uh, fake emeralds. So you mean to tell me, if I use this Chaos Emerald right here, I can wish for myself an order of stuffed crust pizza? It's a Chaos Emerald, not a genie lamp. With just a thought? <clears throat> I mean, listen, in the movie, Sonic was able to think up a chili dog right after he literally wrecked uh, Eggman's, uh... Egg, the egg death egg robo thing. I, you know, I think that's one of. And then he wished. Up, and then he wished up more that literally splattered in Knuckles' face. You know, it's been so long since I've seen the movie that I kind of forgot that happened. Yeah, it's a lot. You know, I will ask since we're go. So I, I will ask since we're doing all this. Um, 
and, and, and just noticing like we're already on stage 13 with again no hub interacting no hub interactions or you know puzzles to do in the hub world um are there more levels in sonic adventure 2 than there are in one uh technically speaking there are because a lot of, because basically with Sonic Adventure One, there was only like at most maybe eleven or twelve original levels. Oh, be very careful! Actually, no, it was it was eleven. It was eleven. I keep forgetting that technically Hot Shelter is like the one level that Sonic can't go right, to. Right, because it's a gamma or whatever stage. Yeah. <clears throat> it's pretty much the one level that the one level that everyone except the uh, main Sonic trio can go to. Right. Yeah. Also, it did. just be Sorry, mindful no cool whenever. Sorry, guys allowed. Anyway, like you... goodbye, Yomo Chow. Continue. Well, he kind of pointed out that be mindful with how crazy you go with shooting because, like, some of the DNA charges, not DNA, TNT charges that you can shoot open the doors and can suck you out into the vacuum of space. Be mindful. But here we are in the vacuum of space right now. We're doing the just fine. And right there, he actually blew out part of the bridge. So, yeah, just be, be mindful. But, yeah, continue hype. I think you were saying something before that. Well, no, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Or are we not now in the voids of space? Uh, maybe this is a point where constant where the, the arc is able to concentrate uh, concentrate gravity in such a fashion. I don't know. Maybe. So that explains why we're even allowed to go through these chambers to begin with, because there's like artificial gravity. In the Listen, if we're not gonna if we're not gonna if we're not gonna critique the Sonic franchise for being inaccurate of how these uh, cre these characters can actually go out into the reaches of space without freaking helmets. Look, I can tolerate Mario not being able, uh, being able to breathe in space, but Sonic, that's just too much. <laughs> Sonic is where I draw the line! He's a cartoon hedgehog with red shoes! He can't breathe underwater, what makes him think he can breathe out in space? Yeah! Also, also, uh, uh... Hey! I share the sentiment with everyone else on the planet. Fuck artificial chaos, something fierce. Yeah. They're fakes! Yeah. Especially in... One of the shadow levels. Most especially in the, the one shadow level. I can't wait. I know exactly what he's talking about. Oh, <laughs> remember, Doug. You promised. I mean, it's not going to be a dread. I can say that much because I've played that stage multiple times to get it right. Fair. I mean, what you? I mean, if you played it enough times to where it's going to be mapped to memory, it's like it, it seems like a non-issue for the most part. Literally, yeah. Yeah. At least you're mentally prepared. Yeah, oh, fuck, fly to Sonic Adventure 2. We can make it. We can make it. I don't think we can make it. We can make it <laughs> if we all stick together. Well, there goes that A rank. <laughs> that just put more salt by that shot when you died. So any life loss does immediately de uh, demark from an A rank? Uh, it pretty much removes whatever score you already had at the time. Oh, uh, yep. yeah, no, that makes sense then. So say if you were to get to die at the very end, instant E rank. Jeez. Yeah, did we forget to mention that this game game was pretty much the initial, the official start of uh, a ranking system in a Sonic game? Oh, a ranking That's... system that we know as... A, a ranking system as we know of, as of now, because technically it's in an SA1, but it's not in the same fashion. Uh, yeah. Technically, it wasn't even a thing in SA One. That was more so just showing off like the kind, like it's like separate missions. Uh, that's more or less that. But here, this like was the, the level of difficulty that you're faced against. But here, this is the first time I got to learn how much of a disappointed parent Sega is and Sonic Team is with my performance in these games, because <laughs> oh my lord, the expectations they have are so fierce. Like, so what happens if you actually manage to make it up there? Good question. Are we going to take, take these elders to find out? Oh, I thought yeah. there was a way... I thought you were supposed to go down. Nope. I mean, I think no, it, that's just an optional path. I think it's just more... I think it's just more score, uh, pointless to the score counter, but I could be wrong. Yeah. It's been a long time since I actually oh, got into that room. Oh. Ooh, whoa. Ooh. I think I'm, oh. I, you know, I think I'm missing something here. Well, no, just, just get to that pot from there, and I think it goes up even higher. Right, I, I remember now. I remember now. We want to go up here because I just remembered that doorway we accidentally fell from is what leads us to our uh, Tails' final power up. Oh, yeah, that's right. What is that? The Bazooka. Basically, a Vulcan an upgrade that lets you take out iron crates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Which is perfect because every we... character has a similar uh, has a similar uh, upgrade like that, which allows them to break iron crates. Yeah. Hey, big. But uh, well, we've already been in this level long enough that we're not going to restart this one. Also, oh, of course not. I, also, at this point, oh. it's like the, I just want to get a move on. I also forget that, like, 
I know they appear in Sonic 06, but this was actually the start of the fake chaos bubble thingies. Artificial chaos? Artificial chaos. I think they were in Shadow Hedgehog, and I want to say they appear in, <laughs> in 06, but I forget. Not in 06. No, 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 Okay. But you know, I could totally, I would forgive you for believing that those uh, weird giant bubbles that Sonic Tails and Knuckles can, uh, or, or Sonic and Knuckles specifically right can uh, walk on, would totally look like uh, Oh, but chaos. that's right, that's right. They were like some liquid metal or reflective whatever they were. <laughs> They're magnetic balls. Oh, so thank goodness, thank goodness this is homing tracking and we're not firing missiles into the earth. Oh, like oh. Ooh. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, time for the final drop. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh my god! <laughs> just fucking delays it every time he turns on the thrusters. Oh, okay, okay, you have, you have no rings left. Yeah, just... Be mindful. So wait, does the amount of rings you have act as like a buffer of how much damage you'll take? Not really. Oh, so even no. if you have zero rings, you won't die in one hit. No. Alright, so that's not. Oh, fair enough. Let's see if I can get a little extra bonus for her and get and take care of this thing. Okay. Nope. That was quick and simple. I will still say... So what, this must be like a security system? Or? Kind of. I will still say that I, um... I don't know, yeah. I, I, I Maybe next to Frontiers now, but I think Adventure, the Adventure timeline of Tales, up until Heroes, was my favorite Tales. Which one? Heroes. I, don't know, I, like, I, li I, like, I like how Tales is in the Adventure games. I mean, yeah, I have no real problem with how Tails is portrayed in the adventure games. It wasn't until Heroes we got a little squeaky. Okay, Sonic. Or B5 Needle Snake Right up, you're... Wait. Oh, oh. Sorry, Amy is... I, I didn't get that, Tails. What happened to Amy? Tails... Did she get kidnapped again? Why did we even bring her along? Are you Son of a bitch. Plot. Meanwhile... Ooh. It's this level. Listen, she yeah. just invited herself. I mean, I guess we technically would do owe her, owe her one for being the free Sonic in the first place. Yeah. That's true. So, welcome to my first exposure to Sonic Adventure 2. Wait, how? Like, meteor? With, with Meteor? With this stage in particular? Yeah. How? Oh, I remember I was at a friend's house when I was very little, and they were playing oh, Sonic I think Adventure 2 to... on the Dreamcast. Yeah, I told the story before, but, like, I was so enamored by, like, the upside-down city skyline up there. Combined with like the music oh, is really good too. I love, oh, I love absolutely. Meteor. To be fair, you know when you said though that this is your first major exposure with Sonic Adventure 2, I was almost concerned that you were like, wait, was this literally the first game that that, that you were allowed to actually play? Sunglasses. Like, you poor thing, you. No. Wait, what? Nice, I have drip. Hey, is that literally all it does? <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's well, a, it no, is. it reveals invisible things. Ah. Uh, like but don't jump, because you'll automatically take them off. Okay. And unfortunately, you can't interact with those objects without the sunglasses equipped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is stupid. It's like a... He's... What? What? Oh. What are you doing? Oh, he whistle. <laughs> Why? I love the timing of that. Were you trying to lure the meteors? Yeah, it sounded like you're like, here, oh, here, meteor. Yeah, that's what I was about right to say. I love here. that timing of, like, he whistles and all of a sudden meteors. <laughs> don't, no, don't make me sick my pet meteor on you. You- uh, HOW?! I call, I call on the herd. Meteor herd. What, what's, what's the- what's the name of the one Final Fantasy spell that summons meteorites again? Meteor. Meteor? Uh, I think it is just meteor. Oh, okay. No, it's meteor. Meteor? Oh, okay. Yeah. I just love the idea of like, I, I, summon, Ultima, I but... summon my pet meteor. The meteor breaks it. My pet. My pet. <laughs> I mean, it could also be a bomb. It could be a bomb enemy from Final Fantasy. Yeah, even worse. Either way, it's dead the minute you summon it. I think you need to have switched open those doors. Is it du is no? It, it needs to be the meteor. Ground? So do you just mm. so is it really just randomly <clears throat> so randomly selected now? It could be in there. You go. Yeah, there oh, it is. I see what you're saying. Oh, I see. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do an Austin God restart. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say that's a lot of time. I, mean, I already have the glasses anyway, so the speed. So I mean, you know, the speed. The, the sky's the limit at this point. I know. Also, you might want to be sure. mindful. Um, uh, for anyone else's playthroughs, be mindful of how frequently you restart, because it does cost a life. Oh, wow. But in our case, we yeah. have 14, so we have nothing to worry about. Can you actually game over to restarting, or will it just prevent you from restarting if you don't have enough lives? It'll just prevent you from restarting. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, well, <laughs> all right. Could you imagine? It's like, well, oh, no, you don't. Yeah, I can restart the level. Too bad you're going to get a game, game over. over. What? Like, I just imagine. Press the button, over. lose. Oh. 
So I will ask now. <laughs> Um, the I lose button. Because I'm very curious now to, to, to gauge like how experienced James is with this. Did you ever max out the Chow Garden or the races? No, I did not have that. I was not that kind of patient sort. Fair enough. But James, man. Like, Chance I got as far man. as, like, I want to say I at least, I did some of the Chow Garden stuff, but on the whole, it didn't really grab I, I was never I never pushed myself to actually get all the emblems associated with them because it is an absolute time sink but James man you have not lived you have not you have not oh no I've definitely lived but you have not you have not raised a, a chow from a, from an egg into its adulthood and then let it reincarnate into a upper baby and listen uh, I at least start the process over again Listen, I've had at least enough patience to unlock the, the hero in Dark Child Gardens, but that's about as far as that went. I bet but that's just the beginning. I bet you haven't even attended a single child parent teacher conference, have you? <laughs> yeah, seriously, you know, man. I just, Jesus. I can also a full of your own babies. I can also imagine it'd be like. Like, it, it's also, like, very tedious in a way, because don't you have to, like, complete all the Chow-related stuff in addition to all the main game stuff in order to unlock Green Hill Zone? Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, mm. yeah. But that's all you unlock from 100% of your game. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I mean, yeah, it's a neat little bonus, but, like, you don't need to. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say it's entirely worth all that hassle. I'd say just, like, you're better off just modding the games to actually have it available from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly. I just like the designs and the uh, customization that the Chow have. I, I, I don't know. The the the, the most I ever got involved in a, a Chow Garden was the uh, Sonic Advance one. The mini Chow Garden. Yeah. Oh, I just realized. Oh, it's on top so of that. So you can't raise them properly there. Jesus. I know. You but you get to give. You're him, but, to use the game you, link cable you get, that you never got. But you get to give him. But you get. But but in that version, you get to give the Chow the trumpet and make him play the dude. Can't you, you give him the see, trumpet? No, no, no. Not only do you get him to play the dude, you give him, like, triangle and circle and square uh, foods. I was about to say, don't you also... can he also play the trumpet in the FA2 version, too? Yes! He can learn how to play the trombone. He even knew Louis Armstrong. Brand new edition coming to se coming to the Sega Sonic... Brand new Chow Garden. Coming to the Sega Arcade. Now Chow Garden Toot and, to to uh, doot and Fruit. Good to be on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I, probably, I, I imagine it has to be on. The, I imagine. It, <laughs> I imagine it has to be on the ground. Where the hell are they all? Yeah, no. See, like, this, I'm is getting... the, this is the primary problem when it comes to knuckle stages. You know, outside of the horrible, like skewed radar thing. Um, there's a lot of verticality involved with some of them. This one is probably the biggest offender. I think we may need to. I think at we least may for need, at least for knuckles. I think we may need a hint. And or, or just mulligan. do an honest to god restart. Jeez, man. Well, you think the hit actually does detract your score a little. Really? No, it just lowers the amount of points you could get from uh, getting a normal charge. It doesn't give you a perfect under a minute. Which may as well be the same thing when you really think about it. Oh, well. Dang. I guess then I, I guess then I wish there was like a mod that would like slightly increase the size of your radar's like detection radius. That would be nice. I mean, technically, that that is the mod I installed. Like again, it works exactly like um, freaking Sonic Adventure ones, where you had more than just three like levels of uh, signal. So like a longer range radar. Yeah, like it is detecting nothing down here. Man, down here in the sticks. Are they just all up there? Houston, I'm currently detecting no signs of intelligent life. I'm detecting no signs of intelligent life around here. here. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Meteor. Whoa. <laughs> mind you, mind you. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Oh. You know, I just want a mod now that replaces the meteors with bulls, and they're only charging at you because they see red. Oh. That sounds like that sounds like a Looney Tunes gag if you <laughs> What the I, was I did see so when I was when I was in when I was in Florida, so they have I think I was talking about this in Florida, they uh in Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World they do have a uh, a it's called Mickey's Mickey and Minnie's Vacation Fun. It's a they call it a short that is exclusive to the theme parks, but effectively what it is is it's a clip show. Um You can just look it up on YouTube. <laughs> well well I'm sure you could, but essentially what it is is like like there are some original pieces animated for that thing, kind of like the Runaway Railway, 
with uh, that that one theme park ride. But um, but most of it, it's like it's Mickey getting ready for a vacation to go to Walt Disney World with uh, Minnie, and it's just him like as he's like cleaning up his house, trying to you know pack and everything. He's like, oh, I don't remember that time that I went. It literally is like, do you remember the time? When so it's just <laughs> so it's just. Family Guy, the, the Mickey Mouse sketch. More or less. Oh, wait, but this was before they told Oh, my gosh, guy. finally. And more or less. Oh, and oh God, some... finally. And, um, where uh, was it? It was behind you. Oh, you so it was, I guess it was closer to this platform. Here's where we... It's in the it's Oh, in the don't tell us there's a fucking guy. artificial chaos up there. Oh, no. Aww. You have to go through that. <laughs> but yeah so Motherfucker. but yeah uh, among amongst the uh, clips that there were uh there were clips of um the the running of the bull there was that whole bit Bro. there was that uh they played not the full clip but they played some of the bits of the danny trejo pyramid of the Dan of the danny trejo pinata bandits that was a fun <laughs> that was one. Yeah, wait it, oh was this random us. ass meteor one of them one of them it's one of them Oh, that's so dumb! Yeah, sure is, isn't it? <laughs> it's a grab bag of uh, rocky proportions. What else was there? They had, um... Whoa. They also... Hey, Minnie Mouse, remember the time we bought our family guy? <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> then there was... Hey, Peter. Then there was... All... <laughs> hey, Peter. Then there was... Remember the time you sent me to hell because you made me seem like an anti-Semite? <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. What? What do you mean? I thought you. I thought all. I thought all Disney was. Which let's, 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 let's be honest. The only reason I almost partly, almost partially, one of the only reason they did that was because they wanted the gag of Goofy doing a Goofy yell into hell. <laughs> but anyway, it's like, okay, boys, what do we got on the checklist? Uh, we got send Goofy the dog to hell. Okay, for for doing what? I don't know. Let's do something bad. Send so, him to hell. Like, what's the most what's the most horrible thing? Heinous. You can think of? Something uh, heinous. But, okay, good. Yeah, but yeah. Let's see what else. Yeah, what else was there? Then there was also they had, they also had the clip the start of the clip oh. of the yodeling. Of uh of the of the freaking yodeling one, but not but they did not include up to the part where the actual Matterhorn Yeti shows up, which is my favorite. I give up. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that spawn either. That was Man. dumb. I, I think this is the game taking like getting back at me for having such good surprisingly good luck up until now. All Murphy's <laughs> Law has like compounded to this very moment. We and we're not even in bad space yet. Whoop. James Man Extreme Funny Moments. We say no Wait. to cheaters in oh. our <laughs> to smell. Oh, I think it's oh, it was digging. It was right there. Yeah, it was burning in his Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> it was right there. I slightly caught that in the last second. Like a, <laughs> if only there were like a visible glow around the Master Emerald shards, that would be a little bit easier, I guess. Or, you, or but then it would make it a little bit more Wait, I didn't. Maybe. I only just now wondered. Don't tell me hmm. like. Would our sunglasses actually help us find these things easier, or...? I think that only applies for the hard mode variants of these levels. Okay. Oh god, yes. the hard mode variants of Knuckles uh. levels. Oh, I mean, on the plus, on the bright side, those, on the bright side, uh, the, mess, the Emerald Shard pieces are always set during those levels. But they expect you to do some pretty insane shit just to find them in the first place. Yeah. They're sincerely some of the dumbest solutions to find those, uh, Emerald Shards. It's like, jump underneath this platform that you can't normally reach. Holy shit, finally, some good yeah, luck. Yeah, yeah, now this spawn is, is acting well, much nicer. Hold your nice tongue here. until you find that third shard. Well, at the very least now, we know that there's maybe only one that's above us. <laughs> now you're just, now yeah. you're just making me imagine if Duckles, that, like, when he was told that, he just literally holds his own tongue. <laughs> How do I hold this? Nothing was flat. Yeah, fly. sure enough, we move. I'm just thinking. I, sure you are, Knuckles. Sure you are. I'm just thinking of like, yeah. I, I'm just thinking of like, uh, nothing would fly over my head, Sonic. My reflexes That's are too my fast. Reflexes are too fast. There it is. Hey, Knuckles, there you watch are. this. Okay, he just it's, throws it's, a golf ball over Knuckles' head. Okay, that was. Oh, Jesus there you Christ. Go. All it took was like three restarts, and it gave me the best fucking luck I could have possibly asked for. Wow. Much nicer. Welcome to space. Hey! 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 Which game started the S rank thing? That would be uh, Sonic Rush. It, yeah, it's Sonic yeah. Rush. Was it Sonic Rush? It's Sonic Rush. Ooh, fair enough. <gasps> Movies! Yeah, because no. yeah, because with Shadow the Hedgehog, it still applied with the A uh, A rank system being highest. Long time no see, but face the road. Bat face the road. Oh, the gems are mine. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's the comic that... Um, the Tyson Hess comic. Yeah. The one that he did before he essentially became known as the guy that saved the Sonic movie. I was about to say, was, I was about to say, was this from the, was this from the legendary Nipples the Echidna? Yes. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Was it Tyson Hess or... What was the guy who made Mau Mau? No, it was Tyson Hess. Mau Mau? Yeah, the, the show with the cat and the screaming little... No, that, no you're thinking... No, 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 no. Uh, you're, th you're thinking of Parkinson's. No, we're talking about Tyson Hess. Oh. Although I did Shit, what Parkinson's? Well I well I know that I <laughs> I don't think he had any involvement with that. Well I know that I saw I know I saw a TikTok. I, I think I shared it in movie night with you guys, or maybe it was in Dumbass, but I saw a TikTok made by the voice actor of Mao oh, Mao. Okay, I guess I deserve that one. It was a, a it was the voice actor of Mao Mao uh, recording uh, a a meme that he saw of Mao Mao. I really oh, wish I which didn't one was that it? on that show because it looks like oh. a lot of fun. Oh I know, I really want to go back and watch it myself. Is it on there? Movie no, it's, it, remember it got pulled. Oh, shit. Oh, that's God. lame! But remember, it was all, it was one of the shows that Han Hanna-Barbera screen caps uh, had backed up and like publicly available to download. Oh, that's, hell yeah. I, the only bummer about it is that, uh, unless I can get lucky and find it elsewhere, uh, I got no <laughs> subtitles. God damn it, Rouge. What? Oh, my God. Do we really, really need subtitles oh. for it? I mean, I prefer. I like to watch it with subtitles so I can talk with friends and still understand what's going on. So yeah, I can like, so I can react to funny scenes like the. Oh, how you pay me? With exposure. exposure. All I really remember is like, like the surrogate. What was it? Like a surrogate daughter, the little bat thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah little bat girl. Yeah, cat bat. And that I always. All I remember is her screaming. That happened at one point. Uh, I also remember a, a completely obvious jab at Steven Universe that they did one time, right. where where oh, it was a where it was it was a monster that uh, was attacking okay, a cherry pie festival. Just a oh, cherry yeah, pie it's, festival. It, it's very important. Just remember that a cherry pie festival, and oh. <laughs> Mal Mal like before he became the adventure we know today, he just shows up all young playing a ukulele. Like, don't worry, guys, we can sing our troubles away. <laughs> He starts singing, and then immediately as he's in the middle of the song, Oh god! Oh god, no! His face is being splattered with red as you hear some mauling <laughs> happening off screen. But we still know that it's a cherry pie festival, so it could so arguably not be blood, but we don't know for sure if it's blood or not. And, oh, I forgot I have wings! Oh, no. Everyone be at the critic. You could fucking fly, dumbass. Yeah. I mean, you could argue wait. maybe her wing got broken during the fight. Or maybe, just They're maybe, she's a regular-ass human in a bat, like a cartoon bat costume. Oh, help me, as well, I again, pretend that's to that's fall. That's the only, I was about to say, that, that's the only explanation I can think of as to why she doesn't use her wings. Like, I imagine they didn't bother explaining it when it happened in X. Wasn't she in, like, a lesbian relationship in X? <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, sure, whatever. <laughs> but otherwise, it's like no. I think she was. I think she was just, you know, be, she was just like a. Uh, it, it just a teasing friend. Essentially, yeah. Ta da! I mean, like I could definitely see oh, why right, people she would. Was, uh, friends with the cop lady. I mean, I could definitely see why people would ship the two of them, but it, w it wasn't like official or anything. I mean, it's right. cute to think about. They were just uh, friends on the job. Now, I do gotta ask, James, some slightly important questions. Uh, for, ta more. for Tails, Knuckles, and Sonic, uh, SA1 versions of their theme songs or SA2 versions? Mm. Uh, good question, honestly. Like, I know there's a lot. I know there's multiple choice. You could do like one, you could do like one for Sonic, two for Tails. You could do, you could go back and forth in between them. I mean, oh yeah, I'll say this much. I know there's a lot of people that absolutely, like, strongly prefer uh, Sonic's, uh, like, it doesn't matter, it's an SA1 version as opposed to the SA2 version. I kind of have a little more nostalgia for the SA2 version, though. And honestly, I, I, I'm not, I don't know, I, I'm kind of, I'm, it's weird for me to say, but I'm kind of sort of men mentally sick of the SA1 version. That's honestly, fair. like, I've got, I don't know if I'd say mentally sick, but I'm kind of on the camp of I kind of prefer the SA2, oh! Huh? Damn. That was weird. Oh, you got dined in. You kind of prefer the SA2 anyway, version? I was, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. like, I personally do prefer the SA2 version if it doesn't matter. Like, I don't know, something about the faster, more upbeat tempo, I think kind of fits Sonic as a character better. That and they don't constantly, they don't replay it as often as the as, as uh, Sonic Adventure replays uh, the instrument for uh, that game's version. Right. Yeah, that's fair. 
then for Tails, I mean, I could go with either or. I have no real preference between the two. Uh, Knuckles, much as I think the uh, vocals for it is a total scumbag, I do kind of for the SA1 ver uh, take. Yeah, I, I agree. It's like, the SA2 version is pretty good in its own right, but the SA1 version, it's just... Oh, yeah, no, it's good in its own regard. Yeah, but the SA1 version is just more iconic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I know we heard Amy's theme a little bit, but I think they just reused the same uh, audio from SA1. It's the exact same theme. They reused yeah, okay. it. Yeah. Here we go. By the way, that version of Artificial Chaos that we just beat up is probably the easiest variant. It just oh, flips up areas? into like a bajillion artificial chaos babies. Uh, it's easiest, I guess, but it, I mean, yeah, no, it is easy, the easiest, but it's also probably the more of uh, ouch. Oh. It's probably the most obnoxious, just because, oh. like, especially if you're trying to uh, homing attack it, then it's gonna it's gonna target all the, the all the little guys, right? Yeah. Which is why you just jump onto it like naturally. Yeah. I do love all the. It was crazy gadget. It's a weird stage for me. I love all the nods to like Sonic Two, like Sonic 2's Eggman levels and stuff, like with the uh, between the uh, between the orbs that you're flying through, like the tubes that launch you across. Well, the loop de loop thing is more a reference to like Sonic 3's uh, Death Egg because Sonic 2's Death Egg is just the bosses. Oh right. Then SA3 it is. So who built the artificial chaos? Was it Gun or Eggman? Uh, Gun. Uh, would you believe me if I said neither? Oh, that is true. Right. Don't neither. forget. I was like, yeah, don't forget. Don't forget the other faction that we don't know about. We won't know about until a certain cutscene later. But the other faction that had created this arc before mm. us being here. Technically, it was commissioned by Gun, but uh, Gun weren't the one themselves. Weren't the one that made it. Mm -hmm. Flame rain, more like lame rain. What? I mean, it's only really just there so Sonic can destroy iron crates. That's it. Ah, fine. And you get so late in the game, it's almost kind of pointless. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm not going to really give him too much crap for it. Well, but, I mean, all, all of Sonic's best abilities we already got by now. So I guess now that we're going through all of this as it is... Um, so, Doug, have you uh, have you have you been enjoying any of the... Have you enjoyed or been looking at any of the Sonic ports that are on Steam and stuff? The Sonic ports on Steam? Yeah. Like uh, the one that James is playing here. Like, I believe they, I want to say they put pretty much everything except for Unleashed on Steam. Unleashed, no. I've, I've gotten find? most of them. That's like that's all I can say. But Logan, you're forgetting all the other Sonic games like Sonic Rush, Sonic Rivals, Jesus. Sonic, Sonic Spin Chronicles, Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic Shuffle, Sonic, Sonic, Lost Sonic, World. Sonic Teaches Math. Or no, Lost World is on Steam. Sonic Teaches Typing. Yeah. If, <laughs> Sonic Schoolhouse. Now that I think about it, I think my first Sonic 4 was, well, not surprised, was CD. Sonic out to lunch. Uh, can you read that, Doug? I think my first Sonic port from Steam was, again, not surprised, the Sonic CD. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, that, that's still a damn good port. I still love Sonic CD for what it's worth. It's not just because of Metal Sonic, I love everything else about the game. Count Sonic the Hedgehog cereal. Like, it has good, it has good music, good aesthetics. I mean... You, I mean, miles may vary with the level design, but otherwise, I mean, uh, there's just a lot of good. There's a lot of good attached to it. Yeah, Sonic just makes it unique. Zip flash. Zip flash. <laughs> Sonic Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. <laughs> yeah, that one too. He does it. So why oh are we keeping track Sonic here again? Sonic at the Olympic Games. We're trying to just. All we're trying to do here is. Oh, all we're trying to do is we're just trying to get to Tails and Eggman at the bridge in the most. Inconvenient, well, inconveniently designed way possible in this frickin' arc. Sonic Tetris. And we gotta speed it up, otherwise Amy, Amy will die! Mm-hmm. Yeah, would you even believe me if I said this? Would you even believe me, Iki, if I told you this wouldn't even be the last time Sonic dealt with Tetris? Yeah, what? I mean, he's not wrong. I was like, I was like, don't they have? I was like, don't they have? I was like, don't they have, I was like, don't they have audio clips of of Roger saying both so both Sega and Tetris? Yeah. And Puyo Puyo. Oh, right, and Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yep. Technically, that's like the only time Sonic officially uh, crossed over with Tetris. You know, since this. Which is fine, because I like Tetris. What do you mean, since that? Uh, Whoa. Okay, these platforms may look like Tetraminos, but let's be real here. Would you actually play with these pieces? Yes. Yeah, yes. they kind of. Uh, honestly, yes, because they remind me of Mickey. I would build like a, because they, like a sandcastle out of them. Well, it's like, for me, it's because they remind me of Mickey's magical Tetris. Oh, yeah, magical Tetris. <laughs> I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind that that minded up the dated port of that game, even if they had to replace Mickey and friends with somebody else. 
it was a fun idea. What the idea. fuck was going on with that artificial chaos? It was going way. nuts. No, it was I mean, it was a fun idea. I like I like magical Tetris challenge. Do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the fact that it actually reacts to you and like that almost ah! child had a family. I I actually love the fact that it actually could react to you like that. <laughs> had to do it at least once. Yeah. At least once. Every, hey, everybody gets one. Cool. Which, <laughs> everybody which gets one. Now, but now I think about it. Oh my gosh, hype! I really do want that Spider-Man to appear in Beyond the Spider Verse. The one from the one from Family Guy, oh, the, the, family the, the one that the one gets everybody, gets one. Get, every, everybody gets one. Like he'll save Miguel, Tom he'll Peter. save Miguel or Miles like one time and then fly away. We never see him again for the rest of the movie. I'd be surprised if they <laughs> even again, tried Miguel. that. Uh, yeah, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. <laughs> Have no fear, Sonic is here. He just gets. That's my line, you stupid fuck. No, there has to be like a four second delay between "Have no fear" and then "Sonic the Hedgehog's here." That's my oh, line, you yes. stupid fuck. <laughs> also, is now really a good time when I have a gun to my head? Your girlfriend. <laughs> I can kill two birds with one stone. You're not really whispering that hedgehog. I can hear you say it. You no, you don't hear me. I can hear your voice over. Oh, you want this now, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be happy to oblige. Into a big time villain, doctor. <laughs> what are you smiling at? You know you're the one that fell into my trap. You fool! Don't Whoa. you realize that I've held the editors at gunpoint the whole time? I've read the script already, so, Sonic. You know I'm going to launch a bajillion dollars cash into the spot. Hey, You're gonna you grab fall, at least a million fall, 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 and check you out into oh my space. <laughs> I honestly kind of love the idea of Icky rambling as Eggman, and then that just kind of plays over. <laughs> like, like, it, it accomplished the exact same thing. Eggman somehow knew Tails' plan from the start, or at least suspected it. Suspected, I would say. And I know people give shit for Tails for saying that specifically, even though it's like, he may be a genius, but he's also fucking like, eight. Eight-year-olds can make mistakes. Fire con Dios, Hedgehog! Not only that, considering what Eggman's done, why wouldn't you assume that he already knew what it was until that moment? That doesn't make sense. You've never used hey, this Sonic, ability before. I'm in your head too! Well, I mean, it's not like Sonic has any choice. I mean, it's now or never! Chaos Control! I'll fudge! <laughs> <laughs> Chaos Con- He's dead. He, he says it, but he messes up the pronunciation. Chaos Contra- Oh! All of my long-time rival dead, I have no purpose of living How the fuck would you mess that up? <laughs> I have no motivation to go forward. Hey, Icky, let, hey, let's slow down. Wait, I think I got it. Chaos console! Oh, wait, that's not it. You get... Chaos Swiss roll. Wait a minute. This is delicious. Chaos paint hole! Speaking of that, actually, I'm still surprised to this day that that was actually animated by Life Row himself. They did? Oh, oh. That was Life Row? This little bit well, either so animated or voice, because I know Life Roll did voice uh, Shadow in that. Oh, damn, I didn't, I didn't think Life Roll was actually doing that kind of stuff even that early on. Yeah, early yeah. on, he was well known. This fight known. against Eggman is bullshit. I mean, hey. he was well known for that. That's why a couple of big Sonic creators still know. Oh Whoa, boy! What the hell is that move? That right there was a multiplayer exclusive special move. Fuck that attack! The bosses get to use free of charge in the in the uh, story. Oh, and you don't. So fuck, fuck that you attack! Yes, yeah, like Eggman does that. Uh, James didn't get to show it off, but Bruges could also do that as well. But not that attack specifically, Bruges. but just her multiplayer attacks. All right. Oh, oh watch it! Better move. Fuck. Ow. Nice. Well, for the shot. All right. How do you like my super rainbow piss? Thank you. You can't counter that fucking beam with uh, the uh, the fuck you uh, boxing glove shit. The uh, boxing glove. Yeah, it's you like, can't actually. I think that. you should probably consult the doctor, Eggman. I don't think your urine's supposed to be rainbow colored. Doctor Rainbows, is that you? Look, Tails. You and Sonic can breathe in the voids of space and control gravity and keep yourself attached. Oh, Why do you oh. question my lasers? I thought you were about to say, listen, Tails, bro to bro. Let's be honest here. What? I'm not your bro. Okay, my guy. What? If anything, you're old enough to be my uncle. 
I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. Buddy. Yeah. buddy. I have the adoption papers to make you into Eggman Jr. What do you say? Eggman <laughs> Which, by the way, is probably like one of my favorite recent YouTube poop artists. Oh, yeah. Or relative, uh, relatively new, considering he's been around for like five years. Or so. I gotta fuck this mini boss. You're yeah, no. Well, I, the the next, cool. like, the fight with the next is just, it sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. It sucks that you don't even have rings. Well, well you technically do have rings, it's just that you uh, likely collect them. Missiles. All. Uh -oh, oh, that's so it. The missiles are at least a little Three's easier to. There you go. No, Tails! <laughs> he got shot! Tails gets blown up during the cutscene. Can't believe it. He literally died the moment he used anything other than the Bringo laser piss. Why am I here? Oh. I feel some strange. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was the way home. It is just more doors. <laughs> oh, wait! No, this is the entrance to more doors! Lucky! Oh. Hey, look at that! It worked! Oh my god, Sonic! A wild Sonic the Hedgehog? Now I've seen everything. You know, I guess that whole thing of uh, turning thoughts into power wasn't absolute bullshit after all. He turned himself into power. And for whatever reason, we never use Chaos Control again when you're Sonic. Yeah. But I imagine it's because it does- I imagine because it takes a toll on his body more than it does Shadow. Right, because like, Shadow I... was- he was engineered to be able to handle Chaos Control. Yeah. And only Chaos Control. We're on that later. Fair. I think it's also because, well, Sonic isn't fully experienced other than turning into Super. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna shove this rock up Eggman's ass! Right. Just you wait! Final rush. Sonic, you do realize that's gonna be incredibly fucking bad if you do that right. Why? He's gonna feel the pain! Sure. Well, actually, that means he, that means he can't walk anymore. That's good for me. Good! So how hard of an action stage would He can't sit down we, to pilot his neck! Which we, would we describe Final Rush to be? Uh, could you repeat that? How hard uh, how would you action describe Final Rush's difficulty? Yeah, for Final Rush. I mean, I'd say it's an appropriate, you know, hard level for Sonic to go through, considering it's also his last. I agree. You know, thinking about it a little bit further, this kind of feels like good juxtaposition, um, or at least like a callback to the first stage of City Escape. Because in that oh, so. stage, you're constantly going downward. Ah. In this case, you're also going downward, but when inside the voids of space. To be fair, though, I was... And this time... Go ahead. And this time, they, they put pretty much all the focus on uh, rail grinding. Yep. Which was a big thing. Back in its infancy. Ooh. And I know that if you're daring it precise enough, you can't be able to skip large chunks of it by just jumping down to rails on the bottom. I do it all the time. Yeah, as long as you avoid hitting the kill yeah, planes. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you yeah. You gotta, like, narrowly avoid the kill planes that are around the platforming sections, but... Uh, uh, speaking of one... So. Well, like, and the fact that they actually let you burn into the atmosphere. I do but, like that. Um, yeah. But I will still say that I... I, I, I think Ooh. the... I think the thema I think the theme of, like... Of, like, downward spiraling towards the Earth was still perfected for me with Terminal Velocity in terms of its theme and what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All you're doing is just running downward. Well, but you're running, but the, it's the context of you're running down the world's largest elevator shaft just to like get hit the earth before I outrun a black hole. Yeah, it's really. Well, the black hole thing didn't happen until after like the that. final boss. No, but this was before that. I know, I know. Way before that. What? Almost ten years before. Whoa. That. Yep. I almost about was. nine years, in fact. Yes, yeah, nine years. What to do? I like uh, blue. Nine years ago, nine years ago, Sonic went to space for the very second time. Yes. <laughs> uh, fudge. Ooh. No, he went there for the third time. If wow. you're, not, if, uh, you're counting Sonic Three and Knuckles. You mean fourth time? Oh uh, yeah, fourth time because there was also the Death Egg in uh, Sonic Two. Yeah. So it's almost like so it's almost like Sonic is just a natural when he whenever he's out in outer space. Yep, <laughs> he's in his home now. <laughs> his natural habitat, the home. I mean, if we're going by the movies, I technically am an alien. Man, my life is weird. Fun fact: if you if oh, so all aliens can breathe in space now, huh? <laughs> that's life. Fun fact: well, that's who the um... hell are you to get off, Sonic? Okay, that's life. Fun quick, fact: that's. What that's life on the fact that some Sonic players already know about uh, at this point. If you actually spin dash before getting on the railing, you can actually get good height. Ooh. 
good thing to do a good thing to use momentum which we can actually say now in terms of us recording these uh a recently a recent big update had been put out oh. to sonic frontiers uh that i'm actually excited for now that uh you know for my playthrough first of all a new game plus which i'm strongly considering doing new game plus for my playthrough of the game um I say there's no harm in it. Does anything change in the game? Plus? It's just the combat skills that you get to hold on to between the playthroughs, I think. Combat skills and also your and also like the, the level ups you acquire from the Elder Echo. Yeah. Oh, so all eight upgrades. Right. So I'll still so I'll still have to you know go and collect the memory tokens and all those other things, which will you know still play. Uh, Sonic. Wow. I'm fine. Sonic. <laughs> but, um... oh, he was skating backwards for a second. Ooh. What have you never have you never tried skating backwards on rails before? Well, you never saw Deadly Do, right? Deadly Do. But yeah, so the um, yeah. In, in addition to New Game Plus, they actually have uh, been looking at a lot of what fans have been like, eh, somewhat complaining, others trying to solve it, and they've actually made an official addition of momentum into Frontiers now. After too many unofficial oh. patches, did the exact same thing. Well, would you argue they did? But did they apply to the cyberspace stage? As for comparing between the unofficial mods and the official implementation, I have no idea which is better, but I I like that they... Because hearing the idea of putting Momentum Mystic Melody? Ooh. You could play a song on you. Basically, you could use the Mystic Melody to uh, sing to these uh, shrines we've been coming across throughout the game to activate uh, specialized, uh, specialized gimmicks or portals. Special shortcuts. They're very helpful with uh, the extra missions. Yeah. In fact, they're borderline required for them. I mean, yeah, no, they were made mo almost exclusively for the extra missions. Mm -hmm. Was that a flute that you played like knights, but it sounded like an electric guitar? Yes. Yes. Electric guitar. I, I heard like a. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe it was the maybe it was the background music, but to me, I, I heard like that a... was freaking Final Rush, dude. Uh, okay, it's just okay. That's just the Final Rush's tunes. Fair enough. Or maybe it could have just been Willy Wonka's whistle. But in any case, uh, I like blue. Uh, the, oh, too much money. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I guess since I have actually uh, gone on my way to do all the uh, oh action, I mean, you know, I went out of my way to actually see, uh, play through the uh, all the stuff that they added on for Frontiers. I'll say for what's worth, I mean, I'd say they're, the add ons are definitely a huge step in the right direction. Yeah, that's fair. I just want to see more original 3D level design magic, though. Because they have the base for it, they just got to do more of it. Ugh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> That could have gone better. It's for dub rank, only not. Not quite a dub, but it does. That, but it does uh, start with a D. So okay. Yeah. So what's the D in this case stand for? Decent. Uh, donkey. Doug. Eh, yeah, decent. Yeah, because even Sonic's all like, oh, it's not bad. I mean, at least I didn't get an E rank throughout this entire run yet. True. I'll say there's Shadow. I was just about to go on my morning jog, Hedgehog. You know, what can I say? And then you suddenly had to show up with your ugly. Bastard mug, and now I'm angry for no fucking reason. I was hoping they would just continue rhyming jog with like hog, mog, prop, cog, dog. Stay out of my sight, you filthy degenerate. Filthy hog. You make me so angry that I just want to explode, but more into the other game later. Adventure 2 Battle! No. But you know, you're a corporate <laughs> shill, Hedgehog. No hard feelings, Blue Hedgehog, but I'm about to kick your shit in with my chaos control. I'm about to usurp your fan base, Hedgehog. Also, I love the soul the soul implication, like he said, your adventure days are coming to an end. Technically, that's true, because there were no more adventure games after this. Yeah, <laughs> he's not wrong. Yeah. I mean, technically, Sonic Heroes was going to be called Sonic Adventure 3, but then they realized, eh, that maybe wouldn't boost it, wouldn't get as many sales. Is that I... you, Shakira? No, I think it would have gotten them Shakira. much better sales. <laughs> I mean, to be, to be fair, I, I guess, but it's also like, I don't know, it's one of those things where, like, what if we want to introduce Sonic to a brand new audience? A se like, a sequel title isn't exactly going to do it. Right. So, I love this boss theme. I hate this boss level. I uh, let's say, who'd have known it was this battle in this scene that made every that, who'd have known that it was this scene that gave us Sonic Forces speed battle? I know, right? Yeah. Also, something I just noticed, like, yeah, like there where Shadow does like his uh, attack. Nice. They got rid of the trippy background that usually happens in multiplayer. 
Yeah. That might have been a uh, that might have been a uh, little uh, oopsie from one of the mods I installed. I assume that's nah, fine, but I assume lights. But I assume lightspeed attack uh, helps break that fight. <gasps> I can do it. Tails, I've ha I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be like I, I can do it. Eggman, you've been trying to do a sit-up for the last five minutes. I don't think it's gonna happen. Shut up, I fool my imagination, <laughs> Tails. That's Twitter talk, Tails. By the way, why did I borrow this? <laughs> Yoink. He's okay. Don't worry, fellas. Just because you got sent out in the far reaches of space and nearly got blown up by a uh, bomb. Hey, Tails, how's this for four by three ratio? I still love how both Tails and Amy were, of course, looking at the uh, Tails' walk dog event. And right in front We're of Eggman's sight. Yeah. They yeah. are dumb. <laughs> they are very dumb. I mean, hey, it's a fake emerald, but so hey. why should it matter? Uh, no, it's not. No, that's no, the real one. Oh, wait, that's the real emerald. That's the real one. Sonic has the fake one. Oops. But regardless. Earth, regardless, Earth is Sonic has to save the Earth from a de from a death destroying laser. So that's it. Yeah. That's in for the hero side. Like my friend Tails used to say, "All's well that ends well." <sighs> Shut up, Sonic. At least I didn't bring to my, at least I didn't need to bring my gun this time. Shut your hedgehog whore mouth, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that right there was the hero side story of Sonic Adventure Two. So. I guess for those that have actually been watching this channel for the longest time, you probably remember back when we did our old commentary, we did something super duper fancy with it, where we tried to uh, splice all the footage and gameplay in chronological order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can't exactly do that live, hence why we're just, you know, playing things more or less straight with this uh, current run. But I think it was, but again, it was actually really cool to see you just, like, enter that, like, I don't, I don't want to say zone, but like it, it, was, it was cool to see you, like, just genuinely just enjoying this game, like as it's set up and, like, all the stages. It was really cool. Yeah, like, up until the very last few levels of the game, I was pretty much in my element. <laughs> Meteor herd, or, like, meteor turd. So, do you have a... So, I assume between the two, you usually prefer the hero story compared to the, to the dark one? On a gameplay spectrum, yeah. I very strongly prefer the uh, hero side story. Not so that the dark side story's levels are bad. It's just that I think... I, I feel a little more complete playing the... Uh, one, once for a hero side. That's fair. I can see Is that. it possible that the stages for the hero side story were the first batch of levels they intended to make? Well, considering that Sonic and Knuckles were the initial two, uh, uh, two of the three major characters they were going to uh, focus on in this game, yeah. Was this also Lanny Manella's first time doing voice direction? Uh, doing voice direction? No. I know, she's been, I mean, I know as far as Sonic's concerned, she's pretty much been there since Sonic Adventure 1, where she was, uh, she was one of the, uh, she was pretty much the, uh, downstairs lady at, at, during the, at a Station Square's, uh, train station. Oh, oh, that's right, she, that's right, she was also the one who says, select a character, or whatever. I think so. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Oh, wait, no, the, the train from Mystery Road, I'm sorry. But yeah, as far as, like, last involvement, I think she kept doing voice direction up until Heroes. Yeah. Then it was switched over to the four kids, and they, she wasn't involved in that, so. Nope. Which, I mean, you know, I'll skip, I mean, she, you know, she stuck around with Sega for a little while, like, between, like, the mid-90s up to the, uh, early 2000s. So what's she been doing recently? Oh, well, I know she... I heard she... Hmm? Good. Well, I know she is, like, a part of the uh, Bendy community. She voices a handful of characters in that, and I want to say she voices huh. some characters in Dark Revival. I'll have to ask Jordan. Fair enough. By the way, James, I'm not mm. letting you quit this commentary part until you show off the fucking garden once. Well, I'm going to quit here because i got to go grab myself something to drink, but best of luck, you Logan, guys. Logan, no! Hey, <laughs> Eject, pull in the eject cord now. Military base located on an island to the south. Well, the you left. Just in time for the dark side story stinger. <laughs> he, he got scared. I fooled him. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be ahead. Whoa, oh, I blew it up again. The dark side again. Story. Long live the Eggman Empire. What empire? So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all next time for the Dark Side Story. Till then. But James, man, what about the Chow Garden? Take care, all. Ho, 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 ho.